Good morning. Check, 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 check. It's working. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It has been a productive morning for me. I published a short. I published a Starfield tutorial video that I've been working on for the past several days on hacking. Uh, it was good to see all of the positive feedback from that. I've got my live stream right now, and then later tonight we've got Scotch and Smoke Rings. That's a lot of content for one day here on the channel, but I'm thrilled you're here for it, and I'm happy to be here. I'm eager to dive back into Starfield, uh, really enjoying my time. Thrilled that I got my last ship. Let's check out on Facebook, see if we got the chat. Yeah, I've been working to try and get access to the ship that I won in a quest several live streams ago. Finally did everything I needed to do to level up my piloting skill yesterday so that I was able to use the new ship, and I love it. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Robin, Garrett, Harold, Toby. And of course, uh, great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. At 444, Evan Johnson, Quintius, Josh Bunton, Deuteronomous, Random Fandom, Alt Grendel, Fishkey. And it's our Alt Grendel in the chat today with the first super chat. He says, Ox, read this. I have read it, Alt Grendel, with mine eyes, and I'm so glad I did. Thank you for that one, Alt Grendel. Psychic Afro Dancer with a super chat says, Missed it live, but you earned that Kepler R, Rox. <laughs> so happy for you. Hope you learn to love the shipbuilder system. With the right skills plus level 60-ish, you unlock all options divided among the ship dealers. Thank you, and that's one of the reasons why I've been postponing some of the more creative aspects of the game, like shipbuilding and outpost building, because I know that I'm gonna be limited by my level and by my perks once I get into those systems. And I don't want to be limited. Like, I, if I'm gonna be creating something, I want to be able to have access to all of the tools in my arsenal, in my toolkit, at once, so that I don't have to backtrack and change something later, or so that I can better understand the options available to me. I don't want to get into the ship builder and see a really cool laser cannon and go, oh, I can't use that because I'm not level 60 yet, or I need this perk or whatever. So I'm focusing on my character, I'm focusing on the quests, I'm focusing on understanding the universe, exploring the world, getting to know the characters before I start diving into the outpost and ship builders. So yes, the Kepler, was a great little ship to to get, and uh, I think I'm going to be enjoying that ship for quite some time. King Onyx says, I wonder if Barrett is still pissed with you. Well, either way, I'm still pissed with Barrett. Like, what the heck? If you, if you weren't aware of what went on with yesterday's broadcast, I mean, you should probably watch the last two broadcasts, because some major plot stuff happened, and we're going to talk about it in today's broadcast, so spoiler alert, talking about it now. But uh, basically, we got to a point in the Constellation quest where we have to kill somebody in Constellation. And it's not us killing the person, the, play, the, the character in, in Constellation. It's a plot point where somebody dies, but based on our decisions, we can actually kind of control who dies. And so I reloaded a previous save after we got to that point in the quest because I, I really wanted to explore the affinity of the characters before they died, right? I wanted to see how their story ends. I want to do their personal quests. I want to, it, to enjoy all of that content before that character dies. I'm fine with them eventually dying, but I don't want to, them to die right away. So yesterday, I decided I was going to work on Barrett and get his affinity max so that we can finish his story. And I worked so hard. It was, what, a six-hour live stream? I did, you know, a half a dozen quests. We did a bunch of uh, virtual space missions so that we could unlock the Kepler. We went all over the settled systems doing, doing stuff. And then at the very end of the broadcast, he takes me aside to tell me how displeased he is with me and how I need to change and how my moral compass doesn't align with his. And I'm sitting there just completely gobsmacked because I didn't do anything wrong. Like, I went through my character stats at the end, and I don't have any murders. There's no 
uh, assaults. Like, I've, I've got a few thefts from a long time ago, but it was always stealing from people who deserved it, I promise. I had one bounty that I had to get for uh, during the course of the, the plot. There's no way to get through that plot point without getting a bounty. So, I mean, I suppose unless we killed the guy. So my option was leave him alive, Volkov, or whatever his name was, leave him alive and get a bounty, or kill him and everybody and steal their stuff. And I'm sure Barrett would have liked the former option for... Anyway, we don't know why he's mad. There's no reason for him to be mad. And so I was reading through the comments of my live stream from yesterday, and people were saying that they went back through my live stream and they couldn't see a single moment where Barrett said that he disliked this, or or uh, he talked with me about, uh, about being displeased with my behavior. One person said that maybe it was looting the dead scientists in that, that lab, but... I paid attention to, to, like, you would think that if I looted a dead scientist, uh, Barrett would dislike it, or it would count as theft or something, but there's no in-game um, metric or communication that is telling me that looting the scientists was wrong. And we're looting dead scientists all the time anyway. We're constantly going through labs and finding dead scientists and dead marines and looting their bodies. That's Why would that be? Like, like there's no explanation. There's no reason for him to be pissed off. I'm thinking it's a glitch. I'm thinking it's a glitch. So at this point, if it is a glitch, I don't even know if we should bother. If it's a glitch, then we're never going to get his affinity to where it needs to be. So we might as well just go get him killed. <laughs> Which is a bummer because I want to see how his story ends. His was one of the most interesting ones with working with his lawyer and trying to figure out what happened to his husband. It's an interesting story. I want to finish it. But, I mean, he's pissing me off right now. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe I'll run around for a bit with Barrett, see if we can coax him to talk to us a little more. And if nothing happens, then either at the end of this broadcast or next broadcast, we'll just move on. Just move on with the plot. Uh, X Comer ZZZ says, I just learned about how thrust works in this game after 160 hours. Um, maybe I don't know how Thrust works if I'm confused by your comment. I know that we've got a boost. So when you're piloting a ship, you've got two options to control your speed. You've got the boost, which just gives you a temporary boost to speed, and then it's on a cooldown timer. But then you've got what I think is Thrust, where you have to press W to increase your speed, you gotta press S to decrease your speed, and you need to get the little, uh, the little dial in the middle where the white line is to optimize speed versus turning. The faster you go, the more wide your turns are in, sp in space. The slower you go, the you're more prone to being taken out, but you've got really nimble uh, speed adjustments. So you gotta get that line into the white there. Is that thrust? Are we on the same page there? If we're not, then I, I don't know what thrust is, so. You can educate me there. The Adventurer says, Today is a good day. Got to see a live stream and got my new niece a Halloween plush of a skeleton dog. Not to relax, or now to relax before work. Thank you, The Adventurer. Congratulations to your niece on the skeleton dog. Red Eye the Raider Man says, Just stopping by to say thank you for the lore videos of the Fallout series, and I've learned so much from them. I've been watching for a few years now. Well, thank you very much, Red Eye the Raider Man. I'm so thrilled that the uh, lore videos have been helpful to you, and uh, I plan to make many more and make more videos for Starfield. Alt Brendel says, Sorry, I meant Fiddler the Helper's comment above mine. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Alt Brendel was trying to was trying to highlight Fiddler the Helper's comment, and Fiddler the Helper says, Ox wanted to pass on a couple of tips for shipbuilding. If you press G when not selecting a part, it brings up all parts that you can buy. Second, use structural parts for more slash different attachment points. I see. I am really interested to be able to get into the Starship Builder to try and figure it out. Maybe I'll make a tutorial video <laughs> on it once I get it figured out myself. But I think that's probably a way is a way. Erica uh, Patet says, maybe he's pissed you chose him instead of Sarah. Well, I mean, I would have chosen Sarah. That's the thing. 
Like, Sarah pissed me off when we got to Neon because she was just making these ridiculous judgments. It was annoying because we were going through Neon and the entire point of the Constellation quest in Neon is to steal an artifact. Like, they're the ones who set this up. It was Walter and Sarah working with their contact in Neon who stole an artifact from another company. And they're the ones who, was working, who were working with them to get that artifact. So everyone went to Neon knowing that it was stolen merchandise, right? And yet once we get there and we go through all of the process of obtaining the stolen artifact, when it comes to levying punishment on the guy who stole it to begin with, the stolen artifact that we bought from him, She's saying that she wants to throw him to the wolves instead of, you know, giving him mercy. Like, she's... At, at that point, I was like, all right, Sarah, you're done. We can get rid of Sarah. But the way the, the plot worked out is she's stuck on a starship. She's at the eye, and we can't go there and get her. We can't retrieve her. So she's out of the game right now. We can't work on her affinity. The only thing we can do is work with Barrett. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe because we're at this point in the game, his affinity can't update. But... Maybe he started getting pissed at me because I'm not going straight to the eye and working on all of that stuff. So we're stuck with him as a companion. He has to be with us. Maybe he's pissed off because we're taking, we're going on all of these side adventures. If so, the game needs to do a better job of communicating that with us. Fishkey says, what's that? You want to sing? Well, if you say so, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Fishkey. Happy birthday to, to you. Well, it's, it's Fishkey's birthday today. Well, congratulations, Fishkey. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Good to have you on the program today. Everybody wish Fishkey a happy birthday. Love you, Oxen Chat. What are you playing for Scotch and Smoke Rings? Thank you, Fishkey. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm leaning towards uh, Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3. There are plenty of other indie scary games like At Dead of Night, which are really interesting that I could play instead. So maybe let me know in the chat and in the video comments what you'd like me to do. Something like Dead Space 3 or something a little bit more indie. Rachel says, have you found a place for your credit stick in the office? Also, you get Terra Brew coffee mugs online already. Really, you can already buy Terra Brew coffee mugs. Of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. I, I haven't figured out where I'm going to put my credit stick yet. It's lying about here somewhere. I'll find a good place for it. Julian Z says, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on this Starfield Thursday. Hope you're well. Can't wait for you to see why it seems that the end of the main quest and the new game plus are so closely tied. I hope you see the upside to it. Well, maybe I will. I mean, as you know, I'm not there yet. So I really don't know. I... I I didn't, wouldn't even know that there is a Game Plus if it weren't for everybody in chat constantly bringing it up. So when I get there, maybe I'll have a greater appreciation for it. But at the moment, I really can't understand the appeal of starting a new Game Plus and consequently deleting everything I've been working for this entire time. All of my ships, all of my colonies that I've created, all of my loot, and keeping only my character and my character's level to play the entire story again. Why? What's the appeal? Maybe they've got some sort of plot device in, in there that makes it much more interesting. Um, something to do with going back in time and saving a life or something? Maybe. We'll see when I get there. But for now, my plan is just to, come, just to play the game as it is and not go into a new game plus. Zach Taylor says thrusters allow you to turn really quickly or flip. Well, then I know nothing about thrusters. I look forward to learning much more about uh, thrusters. Urarurur says, side with the Crimson Fleet and see how folks react, lol. It ain't pretty. That would be fun. I mean, maybe I'll do a really evil playthrough sometime and side with the Crimson Fleet. Silent Cartographer says, you have passed a point of no return. Until the mission is complete, you cannot gain or lose affinity with all four of the main followers. If that's the case, then why did Barrett take me aside and lambast me? Why did he lay into me as if I had done something awful? If we can't gain or lose affinity, then I shouldn't have been able to lose affinity. Which means he shouldn't have been able to say that he's displeased with me. So, something's not adding up. I don't... It, <sighs> I'm really confused by what's going on right now. 
But if that's the case, I'm like, silent car cartographer, are you speaking from a place of guesswork? Or are you speaking from a place of knowing this because you've delved into the code and you understand that that's how this works? If it's just guesswork, then there are some problems there because if he can't gain or lose dial uh, affinity, then he shouldn't have gotten angry with me in my last broadcast because in order to get angry with me, you've got to lose affinity, right? Uh, plus, additionally, there have been multiple times during my stream yesterday where we completed a quest or made a dialogue option and Barrett liked it, which caused him to gain affinity. So I'm leaning towards bug. But it's quite possible that the bug is manifesting itself due to the point in the plot where we are at. Silent Cartographer continues, yes, the issue right now is Oxhorn, uh, is that because he completed the quest before this whole Star Station slash Starborn thing, it automatically starts the next quest, which locks affinity until done. Again, are you sure? Like, how, how, are, you, how are you able to say that so confidently? Are you, are you guessing? Is that your guess? Or did you go through the code and you know for sure? Uh, Zanala says, when you hold the space bar in your ship, you can coast or drift in space. Very useful in combat to shoot people while passing them, getting behind them so they can't shoot back. Okay. Thank you so much, um, so much, Xanalus. Julian Z says, honestly, Ox, I've heard some people say that some players may prefer to rush the main quest and do all other aspects after, and it doesn't make sense. Okay, thank you, Julian Z. Serpent says, love the man cave, Ox. Can't wait to see all the movie Starship mods will make happen. They most definitely will. Thank you so much, Serpent. Silent Cartographer says, I have 160 hours in this game. All right. Well, if that's the case... If that's the case, uh, the case, then it looks like we have passed a point of no return. And uh, we're not going to be able to get the affinity stories of one of our companions. All right. Well, I guess that means let's finish the Constellation quest. And then we can work on some other stuff. Exit save, Kepler R. There we are. Diamond Lion says, did you shoot any friendlies during space combat? No, I- Hello? I, I haven't, I would have gotten, um, I would have gotten an assault. See, take a look at my stats here. We can go to, um, crime. Zero assaults, zero murders, zero trespasses, zero times ar arrested. I've been selling contraband. But when I did that, he didn't have anything to say. One second. Rachel says, murder Barrett and take the adoring fan. He's less annoying. <laughs> Tempted at this point. Okay, so we're actually stuck in the middle of a quest. And I want to finish it before we move on. So let's do that. We need to fly to the other side of this planet. Um, to this research camp to complete the quest. Let's finish this, and then we can move on with the primary plot.
Okay, Barrett. Let's get this done. Attacking faster than I could reload, which was putting me in a state of uh, permanent. He was locking me in. All right, looks like I'm poisoned now. Hooray! Let's see, what can I use to heal poisoning? Uh, this one. Antibiotic injector. But that does multiple things. Let's see if I can, there we go. Injector. Poisoning cure. We have a couple of structures before we get over there. Let's explore them really quickly. Eliminate the spacers at the camp. All lined up for me. I love this thing. All right, talk to the survivors.
Deep Recon, Spacesuit, Canteen, and then they're all outside. Is that all of them? I think so. All right, so we've got a little hab here. Many of them. You saved us. These spacers are terrible. Terrible. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. I get that a lot. What happened here? Spacers dropped in some of their goons not too long ago. I managed to get most of us to the shelter. Anytime they approached the shelter, we managed to repulse them. But time wasn't in our favor. Then you showed up, thank God. You should thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to die. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney what? said for us to what? go to grounds. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvies safe from here. Wow, he, he sends us to go and save them, and her response, yeah, he's so green. All right, none of this is set to owned, so we'll help ourselves. Great expectations. Also, Chad was telling me that it was the, uh... I'm just a botanist. Why? Why would the spacers... That it was the first um, uh, dad jokes book that I've missed. Not the second one as I thought. This so situation is getting again, out of control. Did. Tell Taurus, thank you. Thank you. Okay, place looted. Let's go to the cave. Come on, Barrett. Talk to Lieutenant Torres, but there's a cave right there. Research outpost. So it wants us to fly over here back to the research outpost? What about the cave? I guess we don't need to go to the cave. Can we go check on them? Ground pounder. Okay. Well, we don't need to go talk to them. But, uh... There's the cave. I'm guessing that's the cave that they went to. Let's go see if the survivors actually went to the cave. And then we'll fast travel... Back to the other side of the planet.
What am I hearing? All right, where's the cave? The cave is over there. I'm getting sidetracked. This would be a good planet to put a research outpost on. Lots of good resources here. All right, cave. I mean, we don't even know if this is the right cave. It could just be a randomly generated cave. But they did say cave. Let's check it out. Hopefully we'll find some survivors here. Neon for my wep weapon crafting. Oh, I can just take it. Benzene. This is really a cave system. I'm getting lost in here. No survivors yet. I'm starting to think that there's nothing here. Just resources. Did you get that particular piece that... Yes, that right there. Excellent. <laughs> Barrett. A dung pile. Uh-oh. Lots of creatures down here. That's a bad sign. Is there going to be a big beastie? Also, gravity is changing. something? I think we're back to where we were. Yeah, that's already looted. All right, well. Oh, God. 
These caves are brutal. They're just so hard to navigate. All right, I don't think there's anything here. So I think that was just dialogue. I don't think we can actually find the other survivors in a cave. So let's fast travel back to talk to Torres and move on. I kind of enjoy exploring these biomes, though. Maybe one day I should just spend an entire broadcast... Maybe when I do settlement building. I'll just explore entire planets and get all of the creatures and plants and all of that. Because <clears throat> I think that's fun. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's back up here and go here for Torres. Salati Bardfast says, has Ox been selling any planetary data that he's gathered? No, I haven't. And I forgot who I'm supposed to sell it to. Wasn't it somebody in Constellation? I forget. Once I remember, because isn't that just beautiful? Just take, take a minute. Just, oh. Just isn't that gorgeous? It's amazing in every way. I love it. Just bask in the radiance of that ship. Okay, <clears throat> quick save. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. <clears throat> well, that's a noble goal. Sometimes you have to cut your losses. Your injured can be used against you, or this war's not won yet. Tell me the plan. Straight to business. Good. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Space combat in my brand new cargo freighter ship thing. Oh... This'll be interesting. Well, I haven't tested it in space combat yet. So, uh, I guess we should try, we, we could try now. There sure are a lot of them. Or you know I'm not under your command. Or you people are really keeping me busy. Well, let's try this. <laughs> the only rest a Marine gets is in the grave. I concur with the captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. Oh, great. <laughs> so launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Space combat! My These best damn skill! Spaces. Too many of them. Right. This quest has everything. Okay. Let's try it. I should have gone straight to the cockpit. This ship is now so complex that it's actually going to take me a while to get to the cockpit from here. Um, not that bad. Not that bad. If I could remember how to get there. <laughs> it's so big. That's right. It's over here. And then up again. Right? Yeah. And then up again. <laughs> what have I done making this ship? Yeah, 
There we go. Ouch. Right. Well. Did you need something? Space combat. Let's do a hard save. How are you, Dusty? Doing fine, Lynn. Prepare to man battle stations. This could get rocky. Josh Dillon says caves are rarely worth going into unless there's a mineral you can't find on the surface to complete surveys. That's a great tip. Thank you, Josh. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Well, I definitely need to upgrade my weapons on this ship. I mean, they were powerful, don't get me wrong, but um, I need a third option because I ran out of my lasers and my ballistic weapons <clears throat> pretty quickly during that fight. But my shield held up. That's what was important. Outpost. 
Crap! What you did up there has lit a fire under their asses. Get back, pronto! We need you. Okay. All right. All right. Just, I got. I got to loot. Give me. Give me a second. I'm gonna loot. This has been a fun mission. Where are we going now? Land on the research outpost U309. All right, we explored the research camp. Here we go, back to the research outpost. Irvin would have loved to work on a planet with this kind of life. We are decimating the spacer fleet here. Explosive calibrated Grendel. That might be fun. Ooh. Let's try it out. Legendary effect is great. Oh, we got one more over here. We've got two more. Do we have a guy clipping? No? Did we do it? There's more over there. I can't see all the bodies. All right, let's go get these guys.
Come on! Let's finish this! Bah! I was looking forward to more. <laughs> Were you, Barrett? That was two spaceships full. I mean, you did. Shouldn't have shot at me if you didn't want to die. Okay, I think I looted all the bodies. Now it'll be so back to people. guarding the depot. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Sometimes you can't forget what was lost. Everyone here is alive because of cooperation. If you do the best you can every day and with every decision, you don't have to regret a thing. Let's try the first one. <sighs> Some things you never get over. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. <laughs> Might be you want your medal, though. Uh, I'll take credits over a fancy bit of tin. Some recognition would be nice. It doesn't much matter to me. Let's do that. I know exactly how you feel. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myung. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. I'd listen to that advice. I didn't peg you for a philosopher, Captain. No one except us really understands what victory costs, certainly not command. <clears throat> Let's try, uh, I'd listen to that advice. You see? I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. Out. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soldiers! It's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. This is our right. home. Our down. friends. We fight what? for something. Oh. He was trapped underground. This is the guy that I thought was trapped underground. He popped up just then. At least I didn't have to kill him to complete the quest. Okay. Quest complete, and we got some new items. Let's take a look real quick. Peacekeeper. A rare rifle. 11 millimeter ammunition. Extended magazine. Okay. Looks pretty interesting. We got a spacesuit and the ablative deep recon pack. Neither of which are as good as what I currently have. 
A custom rare A99. Cool. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is an A99. Love it. Well, quest is done. Barrett, talk to me, Barrett. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Okay, he's being friendly now. Let me see if I can ask him personal questions. Well, I hope I've got a good answer for you. Now he'll talk to me? Okay. At the end of my last broadcast, he was so pissed off he would not answer my personal questions. I'm so confused. Do I keep trying to complete his affinity or is it bugged and I just need to move on? I guess you're fine, says Lord Revolution. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> mood swings, says Mr. Virus. Maybe it's just mood swings. Oh, oh. It's faster if I just do this. Danny C says he was just having a bad day yesterday. Apparently. Okay, let's dump some of our resources here. I can never find where the cargo hold is. It's so small. There. Let's go to resources. Store all resources. Let's go through our aid and store all craftable resources here. Two carrots. That's it. Lettuce. Okay, let's lighten Barrett's load. Need something? Not a problem. Let's see if I have space. Yeah, he's got a lot of my stuff here. Um, I'll leave him with those two. All right, let's go to my safe and start storing some of this stuff. Uh, we'll store that for now. What? The safe isn't the captain's locker? Oh, man. I thought the captain's locker was uh, infinite um, as well. But no. Well, that's lame. Well, then I might as well not keep anything in there. All right, Barrett, let's trade again. Let's get out there and do something new. Can I carry that for you? Yes, please. Let's go back and give it back. Okay, anti-personnel. No. No. All right, element... Okay, so I've got... Six, six, same damage type. I'm currently using the Maelstrom, which is nine, 150, 180, 170 fire rate, 150. So it's a slower fire rate, but it is slightly more damage. I guess I should choose it based on the mods and the effect. Corrosive and Frenzy, Corrosive and Explosive, Rapid and Elemental. Let's try the Grendel. The new one I got. It's explosive. All right, Gallows Reach. Not really interesting enough. I've been really enjoying the modified shoddy. This thing has just been amazing. So we'll store the old earth shotgun for now. I bought the Peacekeeper. And then I'm not even using it because I've already got these shotguns that are better. Rapid Shot. No, no. It was Rapid Shot that I bought. The Peacekeeper is what I just got. Okay, so he can store those for now. I'll give him the Ablative Recon Pack. 
and this extra space suit. He can hold on to that for me as well. Okay, so we're at 100 pounds. Rachel says he seemed to like it when you picked up rocks. Yeah, he did. And then President 99 says, first off, all sorry for the spoiler yesterday regarding Sam, but here is a spoiler-free explanation of the end. In the end, is it spoiler-free? I'll read it. <laughs> okay, he says, in the end, you have two choices. You are only locked out of anything else with one choice, so play along. Okay. All right, thank you, President 99. Um, okay, so I'm at, an, I'm at a point where I don't really know what to do uh, based on my goal. My goal is to be able to complete Barrett's affinity quest before he dies. And I don't know if I can because I'm not seeing a way to gauge his affinity in dialogue very well. Um, so my choices are to continue with the Constellation quests and just have one of the characters die and move on. Or continue working on side quests with Barrett in the hopes that we get some sign that he's improving his affinity. Now, I did get uh, somebody in the chat earlier telling me that his affinity is locked right now, and that was based on 160 hours of gameplay. And yet, having logged in this second day, he seems more cheerful than he was yesterday. So, I'm tempted to try a little bit. We've got some time. We were only an hour into the game, and uh, we completed the quest that we started yesterday, so we've got some freedom. Let's do a couple more quests, just to see if anything changes, and then we'll make another decision later. So, on that note, let's take a look at all of our quests that we've got. I've been trying to whittle through a lot of these. We've got all of these um, radiant quests that we got from the Constellation Chore Board. What's this? Red Tape Blues. Trevor needs me to help him get a request for new equipment approved by the Deimos Mining Executive. Sounds like this is going to be a dialogue-heavy quest, which might give us some opportunities to get some affinity boosts with him. Uh, these are all Radiant Quests. Then there's Top of the List. I was able to successfully sign up a recruit for the list. Okay, so I need to turn... I need to survey a habitable planet. Have I not done that yet? There's a Crimson Fleet Deep Cover. This looks really interesting. This is what I got from the UC Vanguard questline to continue working on the Terror Morphs. And I want to do that, but I feel like starting that is going to dive us into a really complicated and elaborate quest. This is the one with Hadrian waiting outside of Mast. We've passed her quite a couple of times. Captain's Bounty, Adela Fa Fahim, has a tracker that's been sent after her in the pit stop. I volunteered to pose as her and deal with him. He's wearing a cowboy hat. Okay. Let's try Red Tape Blues. As that's going to give us opportunities for dialogue, which might be able to improve Barrett's affinity to see if we can continue with his plot. Let's do it. Look at it go. I love those three engines at the back, just white hot, shooting me off into space. Okay. That takes us to the soul system. We need to go to Deimos, which is a moon of Mars. And there it is. All right, so it looks like we need to orbit Mars and then fly there. Why can't I target? It's targeting the surface of Mars and I don't want to do that. Can I target the spaceship wherever it is? Let's just set course. You are entering you 
United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. You are cleared to land at Sidonia. Damus is such a small moon, it probably doesn't even show up when we take a look at the, the, uh, the Mars system. So let's travel there. Deimos is so small, it's not even a spherical moon. Yeah, look at it. It's oblong. There we go. So that's the system right there. Deimos Star Yard. Welcome to Deimos Star Yard. If you have business, feel free to dock. And we board. Okay, let's take some uh, Paramore Demo survey data acquired. Let's take some Paramore because that's going to improve our um, ability to pass uh, speech checks and it improves companion affinity uh, for 10 minutes. We'll just guzzle that stuff. All right, you coming, Barrett? When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Was exclusive. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists. Demo ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. Demo sales computer. Oh, this is what we gotta do. Demos delivery opportunities. Building top-notch military vessels requires an abundance of valuable resources scattered across the settled systems. Deimos is searching for motivated entrepreneurs to provide us with the goods we need to get the job done. Do you have what it takes to work with Deimos and make a fortune at the same time? Contact our sales associate, Sandra Fullerton, for further details. Delivery resource listing. Deimos heavily utilizes the following resources, aluminum, argon, fluorine, copper, iron, lead, nickel, and uranium. Please speak to our local sales associate to discover which resource is in demand and secure a contract. Job posting, executive assistant. This is for the quest. Rachel says that guides recommend picking funny slash joke options in dialogue as much as possible for Barrett affinity. Okay, be sarcastic. I can do that. Thank you, Rachel. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations and a day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistance experience is preferred, but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Internship is unpaid with option for permanent role at the end of the contract. Duties and responsibilities. Providing administrative assistance, which may include drafting and editing communications on the executive's behalf and keeping memos. Managing the executive's daily calendar, organizing meetings and appointments, performing minor accounting. Required skills and qualifications, strong interpersonal skills, written and verbal communication skills, time management and organizational skills, ability to proactively solve problems and make decisions in the interest of the executive, ability to multitask. Let's apply for job executive assistant. How many years of experience do you have as an executive administrative or other corporate assistant? Oh, yeah, I mean, over 10 years. What's the highest level of education you've completed? Oh, PhD? <laughs> let's go, let's see. I don't want to be overqualified. Let's go with a uh, bachelor's degree. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly to do the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey neat. What does that mean? Trick question. Executives aren't allowed to drink on the job. Or about 43 milliliters shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temperature. A full glass of whiskey with two chilled whiskey stones, two thimbles of whiskey, two drops of water in a chilled glass. Room temp, I think, right? 
A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who is inexpl er, inexplicably running late. What should you do? Entertain the client with jokes until the executive arrives. Reschedule the client's meeting with the executive for another time. Offer drinks. Apologize. Assure that the exec will return soon. Nothing. Never speak with the client without exec approval. Okay, let's entertain with jokes. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up, and they need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Offer them to use your old banged up ship. Contact the client and cancel the meeting, rescheduling for another day. Use the company credits to immediately charter an expensive luxury craft or get their ship towed to the shop. It's okay if they're late. Um, well, the executive won't want to use an old banged up ship. It's an important off-world meeting. The executive won't want to use company money. It's not okay if they're... I guess we'll reschedule. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaged inf damaging information about the executive. What do you do? Take the info to the board of directors so they can handle it. Ignore the email completely, then block the sender. Confront the executive and blackmail them in hopes of getting a big raise. <laughs> Ask the executive how they want it handled and then never speak of it again. Let's do that. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they're drunk. What do you do? <laughs> Immediately go to the, uh, their office to take care of them until they so sober up. Ignore them and go back to sleep. The executive probably won't remember. Contact security and let them deal with it. Go and do whatever they want, even if it would damage their character. Let's take care of them until they sober up. Please be aware that all answers are final and will be reviewed when considering your application. If you would like to change an answer now, select the option to start over. Otherwise, proceed to submit application. Let's submit it. Okay. Oxhorn, thank you for the interest in the Demos and submitting your application. We'll review your skills and experience, let you know if we feel you're a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing Demos. Okay. No other ship can hold a candle to a Deimos. It's not even close. Well, welcome to Deimos. A historic partnership. Let's go back. Sidonia. Jam and Cohen says use the captain's locker for weapons and armor that you want to use from time to time. Put everything else in the cargo hold. Thank you, Jam and Cohen. I kind of want to keep the cargo hold for um, resources for crafting so I don't clutter it up with other stuff. But yeah, that would make more sense. Trust me. 
This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. I filled out the executive assistant application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Okay. I'm not comfortable with this, but I'll do it if it helps the miners. How can I gain access to the HR computer? I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Okay. Isn't HR going to think it's odd all the applications were deleted? Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. Well, I'm not comfortable with this, but I'll do it if it helps the miners. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's gonna help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour, and loud. <laughs> I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. All right, thank you, Trevor. Five o'clock, huh? Acknowledges the efforts of its citizens yes, sir. to make no, our city a happy and productive place to work. Thank you for your daily contribution to our prosperity. Let's get a bit talkative first. Quick save. Hello, Mia. Or Tia. At least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. <laughs> go me! Right, looks like we gotta wait this out. Mining must be a fun job, or else why would we keep getting so many applicants? I'm sure it's all about the fun and not about the, you know, money. Okay, I need a chair. All right, it's noon local time. 12, one, two, three, four. And we wait. I wonder what the time scale is in this game. someone to assist me. Well, you know office space is limited, but we'll see. I'll make a note of it and see what they have to say. Okay, go to the pub. Go to the pub. No. Why are you going back? Go to the pub. It's going to be five o'clock soon. Is there local time? 4.30. Did I do this wrong? I must have done it wrong. 
All right, we got we got 30 minutes left. Montia. How fast does 30 minutes go by? Okay, so eight minutes have passed since I last looked. All right, that's not too bad. I don't know. I'm kind of worried the council's going to give away too much. Hi. I used to think I was Vanguard material until I discovered the space travel turns my stomach in knots. I wish there was more to do around here. Drinking gets old. Does it? Does drinking get old? I'll take your word for it. Graffiti and other street art is not tolerated per Sidonia City Ordinance 5.82. Failure to comply with this ordinance will result in fines not exceeding 5,000 credits or 100 hours community service. Girls-only weekend to Paradiso sometime soon to cheer you up. That sounds great. You don't have to ask me for Okay, if no one else is gonna say it, I will. I'm ready to get out of here and go to the spear. One mistake. Okay, but they gave it to you. I'm just saying I'm done. I'm going to the spear. Anyone else coming with? All right, a little bit of gossip about their divorce leads to them getting up to go get booze. And there they go. All right, go get liquored up. Everybody's off for the day, hey. Don't mind me, I'm just here to clean the floors. All right, Barrett, you're not gonna get mad at me if I hack this terminal, are you, Barrett? Messages. Demos, uh, Demos Star Yard, messages for Jules Degante, project lead, mining equipment. I know this isn't the right place to bring this up, but I can't seem to get a response from Peter. Our tools are falling apart and we really need new ones. Can you ping him, maybe? Throw a wad of paper at him to get his attention or something? He's an executive for crying out loud. I know he's someone's rich son, but this is getting ridiculous. Trevor. Company reminder. Due to new regulations in the United Colonies market, all new ships from January 1st, 2331 onward require coolant pumps grade E or above. We should be compliant as of last year, but please triple check all coolant pump purchases and installations so we can continue to bring our products to all citizens in the settled systems. Search, where to find good whiskey. Does she not know how to use a search engine? Did she just craft a text message on her machine while trying to Google? He's at it again. Peter seems to think the messaging program is some sort of search function again. <laughs> at least he's using the computer, I guess. Gilly. All right, so it wasn't her. It's it's Peter. Where to find good whiskey? All right, job applications. Open job requests. 7,314 assistant to the executive mining operations. No other open re requests found. Please select a job application for, for view. Job re requests number 1734. There's mine. We can look at it. Experience 10 years. Assessment. This candidate shows some promise. Recommend seeking better qualified candidates. But this one will do if no better candidate turns up. 
Okay, let's uh, go to Almaya Dohan. Experience, five to nine years. This candidate answered questions adequately, but stumbled on question four. Other candidates show more promise. Hold on to this application in case of no other candidates. I mean, we don't need to delete hers, do we? Macaulay Esparza. One to five years. Candidate's proficiency seems high based on test questions. However, would prefer candidate with more experience. Keep application on file. Aaron Fan. Experience none. Test scores are perfect, but lack of experience and education are a major concern. Consider for temporary contract if no other options exist. Nyla Atheron. Uh, over 10 years of experience, completed test questions with perfect scores. This would be an ideal candidate, but there are concerns that they may be overqualified. Delete all other candidate applications. This is interesting. I'm going to do a hard save here. Because I think I want to see if I can do this a little bit more subtly. Instead of deleting all of them... Let's delete only the ones that we think are a good threat. This guy has over 10 years of experience. Let's delete it. One to five years. No experience. Five to nine years. And I've got over 10 years. Um, answered questions adequately, but stumbled. Probably not a, a threat. Would prefer candidate with more experience. This guy has no experience, but good test scores. Test scores are perfect, though. That's the thing. Let's delete it just in case. And we'll leave Almaya, Macaulay, and that's it. Okay. But it hasn't che it hasn't moved the marker. Do we have to delete them all? I think we have to delete them all. All right. Let's delete them all. Okay, so that's what I had to do to advance the quest. Okay. All right, there we are. Things can get pretty glum around here. Where, did, where is he? Oh. Speak with Renee. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get... Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. I did it. I made sure I was the only applicant. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, great. Don't you feel bad about the other applicants? Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. What happens if they figure out what we are doing? They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. I'm ready for the next step in your plan. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Okay. Well, time to do some executive assistanting. Report to work for Peter Brennan. Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people. Make sure you do. Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything. And we know he's at the bar right now. Should we ask him, should we talk to him now or wait till he gets to work in the morning? Our paramour has worn off. Let's go ahead and take another one. This life ain't easy, but it pays the bills. Live where you work. Tired of commuting from business systems to Sedonia every day? 
<laughs> you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Uh... I think you're mistaking me for your previous assistant. Hmm, what happened to the old one? You know what, never mind. <laughs> when they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. What? But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Well, enough chit chat. Let's get to work. Oh, come on. The assessment said that I answered the questions well. Actually, sir, it's break time. I'll be right back. Fine, whatever. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Sure, just point me at your computer and I'll get to your messages. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. Okay. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Uh, okay. Um, what do we do here, exactly? Oh, do they cover nothing in orientation anymore? No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? Anyway, it's not important. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that steer. All right, uh, new assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> this guy. Can you tell me about yourself? I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. Wow. Uh, what's in the shipment? What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. What happened to your last assistant? I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but... Uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Oh, dear God. All right. Oh, you're done? Yeah, don't you want me to go? This right, here is the most important work in the galaxy. Pick up a package. Let's see. Where is the package? It's not marking the package, it's marking his terminal. Or is it the trade authority? Hey, I'll be right back. If you're here to broker a deal, why don't you first? Have you checked your air filters lately? The city of Sidonia recommends checking your filtration units every two weeks for all... I couldn't be prouder than to govern the filters. UC's first major Our space colony. Okay, so we gotta talk to the governor. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. Okay. What can I do for you? Well, uh, I w let's, let's get through his lore. I was just hoping to ask you some questions. Hmm. I can answer your general questions about Sidonia, but nothing venturing into politics. Sorry. But it's my strict policy that I only speak with select members of the press and major political donors who are serious about making changes for the future prosperity of Mars. Well, um, you can trust me. I just want to hear your take on Sidonia politics. Okay, that's fair. We can leave politics out of our chat. I'm interested in the future of Mars. How much do I need to donate to talk it, about it with you? Donors, are you saying you'll talk about political topics for a bribe? What are these donations for, exactly? Let's try that. Politics. You shouldn't be so surprised that money greases the wheels of the political machine. Even though I'm a UC-appointed official, I still need to rely on political donations to help me make decisions on how to allocate funds and resources to various lobbying parties. Okay. The money goes right back into the local economy. You see? Yeah, when you spend it, Let's try You Can Trust Me. I just want to hear your take on Sidonian politics. I, I'm sorry, I can't. But 
If you have any other questions about Sidonia, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I should get back to what I was doing. Standard protections from the media and anyone who would go to them. I'm sure you understand. We could offer a thousand credits. Hmm. What's there to do around here? Sidonia is not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work and you're looking to kill some time, I'm uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful <laughs> scenery. Assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, the Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. Martian scenery, sure. What's Cydonia known for? You mean besides being the most important city of industry to our proliferation across the galaxy? Well, this is the home of Demo Star Yards, which perfected grav drive technology and made honest to goodness space travel truly possible. And to this day, our mines and manufacturing are instrumental in delivering resources used throughout the United Colonies. We may not outshine fancier cities like New Atlantis on its surface, but without Sidonia, there would be no United Colonies. <clears throat> Colonel 87 says, Afternoon Ox, how do you commandeer ships? I haven't done it myself, but from what I gather, you need the targeting a skill. And once you have the targeting skill, you can blast out their engines. And once you do that, they're dead in the water, you can slowly approach and then board the vessel. Again, I've never done it, but that's how I think you're supposed to do it. What's it like being governor of Mars? Well, I've been appointed governor, what, going on 20 years now, I believe. Every day, I am passionate about serving the hardworking people of Mars. I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity, and in return, they help make the United Colonies a shining beacon of hope for humanity. If you ask me, there's nothing better than that. Art Pixel says, try avoiding using powers if innocents are near. Some go through walls. Possibly why Barrett got mad. The NPCs with eyes closed last stream were hit. Possibly, but uh, ticking. it would have uh, counted as an assault, wouldn't it? Is there any work around here for someone like me? Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that. But Sidonia is a beacon of industry. There's plenty of work to go around. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with whoever the current Deimos mining director is. Or maybe check with the Deimos Star Yard corporate office. If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking for help. Well, I'm curious about his politics. Let's offer a thousand credits. I'm a donor, and I'd like to speak politics with you. That's cute, but not enough. If you're not sure how much, you probably can't afford it. And at this point, I'm not sure I'd accept it from you. Okay, interesting. Well, Governor Hurst, I'm here on behalf of Peter Brennan. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? So, you've heard of me. Heard of you? Of course, how could I not? Well, I can see where this is headed. Wrong? Not exactly. But word does get around, and I like to keep abreast of what goes on in my city. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Uh... What 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 exactly does he know about me? I, I haven't hardly done anything on Sidonia. I did one quest uh, for what's her name, trying to track down a bounty. I was a, I did a bounty hunter quest, and that's about it. Um, how do you know so much about me? Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. 
Well, I'm looking for Mr. Brennan's personal shipment. He said you might know what happened to it. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, <laughs> since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See? My personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Oh dear, we are getting into the woods here. Um... If your craft was stolen by pirates, why not ask Sistef? Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship, so I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Oh, sure, but why is it important to destroy the ship? Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Deal, I do this for you and you get me that shipment. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Mm. This just Don't got be really caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. All outside surface activities... Part of me feels like I need to board the ship and see exactly who's on it before I decide to destroy it. Like, what if there are innocents and civilians aboard it? Offer to help Mitch Benjamin? Who's... Did I overhear something? Mitch Benjamin? Who is Mitch Benjamin? Okay, well, by walking by, I think I just picked up a new quest to talk to Mitch Benjamin. Let's track him, because I don't know where he is. Okay, somehow I picked it up down here. Residential. Hey, <laughs> haven't seen you around here before. Did you just move in? We could lie and say, yeah, I'm new. You'll be seeing a lot of me around here. That's none of your business. No, I'm just visiting. Or I just dropped by because I heard you needed some help. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, well what was if that? you got a way to get off world, then maybe <laughs> you can help. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragonstar Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. All right, what's, what is it, like a comic book? What are these Dragonstar Force books about? They're these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called the Dragon Star. Now there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. Uh, sure, I could do that for you. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks, well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. Okay. Buy the Dragon Star. Don't be caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. Looks like I need to go All find it somewhere in the galaxy. The of a well, we got another quest. Because of course we did. <laughs> Just walking around a city in Starfield, collecting quests like, uh, I don't know. Something you collect, I guess. What 
Uh, well, let's stay focused. Even essential help. Let's see. Narian. We need to go to the Narian system for that? All right, let's uh, work on this one. Find the stolen ship. Umbriel. It's outside Uranus. Find the stolen ship. All right. Well, let's set course to this to Umbriel. This is our first time to Uranus, isn't it? Hey, friend. Don't mean to bother you, but I could really use some help here. Look, I just need some help. If you could pick up and talk to me. It is good to see someone out here. I've been drifting alone here for two days without help. This is the ship. <clears throat> we could say, let me aboard. I'm a Crimson Fleet pirate like you, and I'm here to help. Or we could say, sorry, I've got some strict orders to destroy you. Let's see what happens if we say lie. Wait. You in the account? All right. Come on board. I hope you've got some extra ship parts for repairs, because we're going to need it to get this thing back to base. Optional, destroy the ship, or we can explore it and see exactly what's on the ship. It's an interesting looking ship. I wonder if we could add it to our collection. Deal with the pirates. So, you're a pirate. Please. We know you're not really with the fleet. Word of advice, learn the lingo before you attempt anything so stupid again. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you leave. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. One, two... Three. We can pass a persuade check. Wait, I think we can all walk away from this and get what we want. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. All right, we've got a. Ooh, this is a difficult one. We got to pass a six. Let's try. Let's be reasonable. No one needs to get hurt. That's where you're wrong. I'm no longer feeling very reasonable. Okay, pass a five to say I don't care about the ship. You can have it if you just let me look around a bit. Seems reasonable. I'll think about it. I could have just blown this ship up instead of coming aboard. You should hear me out. I didn't think you were a fool. I'm listening. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? What should I do with that letter from Hearst? Come on. You really need me to spell it out for you? Hearst is a politician. Politicians are susceptible to blackmail. Or if you really want to see fireworks on Mars, I'm sure there is someone in a position of authority in Sidonia that you could turn that into as evidence of corruption. Mm. Not like it's going to paint a target on our backs any bigger than we already have. It's sure to stir up trouble for local politics. Seems like a win to me. <clears throat> well, I kind of want his ship, so I'm going to... Attack! I've changed my mind. Can't trust a pirate to hold up their end of the bargain. A shame. But thanks for bringing us your ship. I should have blasted you into oh, oh, we ain't done yet!
come and get it. Ah! You can think this through, huh? Ah! Got a few more topside. We're over there? No, no, no. Let's loot. Navigator pack. Hmm. And it's legendary. But it's not better than the one I currently have. Corrosive resistance, chance to stagger nearby enemies. All other stats for the one I have are better. Sylvia Skloss. This is it. Optional. Destroy Hurst's ship. Search for more clues. Whoever finds this, my name is Sylvia Skloss. I've been drifting with no fuel for over a week now and with no signs of rescue. To all those I have wronged, I wish I could say I'm sorry, but truth is I don't know if that's true. This isn't how I would have liked to die, but the guilt and the uncertainty has driven me to, my, to take my own life. Goodbye. All right, so the Crimson Fleet didn't kill her. She committed suicide. Why did she commit suicide? Empty. Uh, empty. Is that a cell? Remote security door control closed. Let's open it. It looks like a cell. Why would the governor have a cell, a locked cell on his personal ship? Interesting. Let's figure this out. And we'll go level by level. Double bone horn. That's an interesting thing to see on a spaceship. All right, so this is the gym. It's a beautiful ship. It must be really incriminating evidence if he wants the entire ship blown up. All right, and that's everything for the bottom floor, I think. Are there any other ladders? No. Okay, that's it for the bottom floor. Let's take the ladder up. Okay, there's the cockpit. Nothing in the cargo hold. Veterans Varun Space Helmet. Okay. Combat veteran, negative 15% damage from human enemies. All right, and then we came from upstairs. We shot down. <clears throat> Are these the only levels here? Looks that way. No other side chambers, no other ladders, but the one that led down. Okay, let's head him back up. Pirate leader, message from Hurst.
From the office of the governor, Sidonia. I'm asking that you take care of the ship and anyone on board. I don't care how you do it. I just want to be rid of this problem before someone catches on. If someone finds out that I'm having an affair and that the woman involved ran off with my government-issued ship, I'm sure you'd understand that it would be very bad for me. I'd like to get ahead of that and just chalk it up to a simple theft and destruction. I repeat, the ship must be destroyed, or we shall consider the terms of your payment null and void, Governor Glenn Hurst. Okay, that's it? It's an affair? And she ran off with the governor's ship? On one hand, the, the, I mean, what politician hasn't had an affair, right? On the other hand, he hired the Crimson Fleet to murder his lover. Okay, governor. So that was his entire plot. His girlfriend, his lover, was aboard the ship and that's why he wanted it destroyed, to silence her. So that word wouldn't get out about his affair. Oh my God. And of course, covering up the crime is the worst crime. Typical. Well, I want to turn him in, but I also want to complete my other quest. I wonder if we can do both. Simpler Times, Nicholas Nickleby. We did. We read Simpler Times, didn't we? I don't think we did. No. The the foreword to a non-fictional account of life in New Homestead, collected from residents over the years, originally published in twenty three twenty four. If anyone tells you, like the title of this book, that life back in the early colonies could be described as simpler times, there. Oh wait, we did read this. I remember it now. My life chunk by ch bad people, bad jokes. One. All right, chat was telling me that this is the one I didn't read. Knock knock. Who's there? Varun. Varun who? Varun. Varun. Listen to that engine. An alien spider beast walks into a bar in Aquila City. Bartender asks, what's your poison? Why did the Crimson Fleet pirate go to an enhanced clinic? He wanted more booty. Uh, <laughs> All right, that one's actually kind of good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Neon. Neon who? You put one knee on the floor to genuflect. Two kneels. Two knees to kneel. Wow. Wow. A dad joke with the word genuflect in there. It's a kneeing joke. Just wow. You hear the one about the Freestar Ranger who couldn't get into the conference? He forgot his badge. Lewis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes has garnered something of a cult following in the settled systems and is particularly popular among the criminal element in the major cities. All right, I think with that, we have finally finished all of the joke books. Hooray. <laughs> Zach Taylor says, just a tip. If you hate using the ladders, you can jump facing any of the other three sides and use the jetpack. Character will auto grab the ledge and pull up. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that one, Zach. Good tip. Well, we could destroy the ship. The woman aboard is already dead. But I kind of want to add it to my arsenal. Can I steal it? Can I take it? Take the governor's ship? You're not authorized to pilot the ship. Okay, how do I steal a ship? You need the ship code, says chat. You can't steal that ship. Oh. Ray says you can't steal every ship. Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, then I might as well blow it up. 
Everyone aboard is dead. But I've got the evidence. That's a shame, because it'd be fun to be able to steal a governorship. Wait, don't blow it up, says normal user. Why? I just left. It might help with the investigation, says Clell Biggs. King Onyx says Barrett will not like blackmailing the governor. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that. I wasn't planning on blackmailing him. Alright, well I was gonna blow it up, but Chad is saying that I shouldn't, so... Alright. Aerial moon of Uranus? Wait, why am I here? Listen up. You have until I get bored to give us what we want. We're gonna blow you into vacuum and take it anyway. We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we can just dust your ship. We could pay 4,000 credits. We don't want any trouble transferring our credits now. Or we can... Say we can attack. Come take my money if you want it. If that's how you want to play it. Recall you now. come here, but worked out for us. why we went to Ariel. Umbriel. Why are the moons targeted? Uh, okay, optional. Res uh, destroy Hearst's ship. Return to Hearst. This is the quest I have tagged, and yet... The other moons of Uranus are marked with a quest marker. And I'm not sure why. We came to this one just to find spacers. Titalia. That's interesting. Well. <clears throat> return to Hearst. Destroy Hearst's ship. All right, well, we'll just go here. This is United 
United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And we're done. Welcome to Mars. Okay, well I think the best option is to turn him in for corruption. Because he tried to murder his mistress in order to hide an affair. Wade Speakerman, uh, Speakerman says it's your anus, not your anus. I wonder how different things would have been for humanity if Mars didn't exist. That first step away from Earth and the moon would have been so much harder. I can't see the uh, comment now, but he was trying to tell me how to spell, how to pronounce Uranus. I suppose I could say Uranus? Shall we just call it Uranus for the rest of the live stream? President99 says, uh, tip box, only one bar is needed for the grav drive to work to avoid such situations. Later, you'll be thankful to always have weapons hot. These six seconds waits are okay for grav jump. Got you. Thank you. <sighs> Almost break time. Come on, you can make it. Okay, so I don't want to blackmail him, but who else would I talk to about this quest? Let's do a save here before we talk to Hurst. Because the quest isn't marking anyone else on our map. Security says chat. Just go to the security office. Oh, okay. Uh, General, where's the security office? See, it's not marking it for us, so I don't know where to go for that. Enhance. The miners pretty much run the Lux concert marked three times face value. When contacted, the Lux Sites agent said it's going to be one heck of a show. Remember, get their music wherever slates are sold. How goes? That leads to residential. It's by the entrance, says the chat. All right. Security. Surface level, UC Security Office, S1. Stoneyard Engineering. The UC Exchange is a great place to buy your weapons. Just make sure to keep them holstered at all times. I can't be responsible for you when the sparks go flying. Right. I'm having a hard time finding security. Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. This leads to the bar. Lower level, lower level, surface level. The Broken Spear and Demos Staryard Engineering. So it's S1. Past the flaps to the left. Oh my god. There it is, thank you everybody. Found a clutch of heat leeches, uh, breeding in the utility section the other Things day. have been pretty quiet around here lately. Not going to be able to get usually means someone's up to something. We just while. haven't found out what yet. Keep on the straight and narrow, and there won't be anything to worry about. Wow. Well, that's why the, the, the quest didn't have it marked. I can't turn it into him. Be seeing you around. So it looks like I have to talk to the governor first, before I get an option to turn him in. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the I sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. I'm back. Now let's talk about your end of the deal. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? Let's see, uh, we could lie and say I destroyed the ship, whatever it is, your secret is safe. We could lie and say I found your ship, but the pirates got away. We could say I found your note to the pirates. Seems like it would be real bad for you if people knew. Or we could say how about you pay me a little extra to keep all of this quiet. Tell you what, let's see if we can lie to him to get him to do what we want, and then maybe that'll give us an option to turn him in.
Chad is saying that it was the wrong, the wrong cop. Further in the office, Booth was the lead cop. Sorry, are we doing this or not? Okay, see this is weird. It's weird that they're not tagging the optional parts of this quest. Careful near the railings on the upper level. UC security. Booth. UC security. Alex condos aren't anything special. Oh, Vincent home. Woodard. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. Oh, he was the head. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. There we go. There's our option. Let's um, let's let's go through his other dialogue first. Red Devils? What's that? I mean, we know from my lore video, but we'll ask anyway. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. You seem like a military guy. Did you serve? Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander, but they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia security chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. You ever think about starting up the Red Devils again? All the goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a red devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again, but it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. What can you tell me about the city? It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Governor Hurst has been involved in criminal activities. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? <clears throat> How would the legal system handle this situation with Hurst? Well, he's a governor. If what you say is true and you have evidence against him, he'll be charged with felonies. I assume he'd step down ahead of this and turn himself in, but if not, He'd be arrested. Then there'll be a formal trial back in New Atlantis. If convicted, he'll likely serve jail time, plus any applicable fines. I'm sure they'd have to find a new governor. It's, it's pretty rare for something like this to happen. So this is all an educated guess. I wonder if I should lie to him first. Well, let's see what happens if we do this, and if we can't complete the other quest, then we'll just load a save. Yes, I have a note he sent to known pirates, which details its, his crimes. Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hurst. I'll say that. He did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Hurst was supposed to get me a package for Peter Brennan. Can you help me out with that? Tell you what. I'll do you a favor. Go ahead and finish whatever deal you had with Hurst. I'll wait to take care of him until after that. All right. Just don't let him know we spoke about this. I don't want him running, and you don't want to lose whatever leverage you've got with him. <laughs> we could say, is there some sort of reward for this? Or we could just say, I'm just glad I could help root out corruption. I can tell you, Sidoni appreciates it. Okay. So, great, we can go back and lie to them. Looks like we could have gone straight to him. Adherence to this law is imperative in order to avoid unwanted infestation. 
Thank you for your cooperation. It's good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Well, don't keep me waiting. Did you take care of it or not? I destroyed it. Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. Okay, we can deliver the package to Peter. I wonder exactly what this package is. Well, it's not telling us. It looks like a cooler. Caution. Subterranean particle detonation. It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. My shipment. Do you have it yet? Four, um, three, two, <laughs> we could one. say yeah, but I had to do some really shady stuff for Hearst to get it. Also, you owe taxes. Uh, do you have any uh, idea how hard it was to get this? No. Was it difficult? I guess I never thought about it since you... I mean, my previous assistants just showed up with it whenever I asked. You owe taxes. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for getting this for me. Now, could you be a pal and get to my computer messages? Oh, they've been piling up while you were gone, and I need you to respond to them for me. Here's my password. Just make sure your replies sound like they're coming from me. I have a reputation to maintain. Oh, I bet you do. All right, we got Peter Brennan's password. Particle have a good one. Concluded. It is now safe. Let's see what his password is. Oh, it's just a key card. To resume normal activity. All right, Peter. I'm here to help. Peter Brennan's Daily Planner. It appears to be completely blank except for one date from several years ago that simply reads, Buy a new belt. This guy does jack all. <laughs> Messages. Meeting request. Mr. Brennan, I'm looking forward to meeting you to discuss our potential partnership. I know opportunities to buy Martian ore don't come up very often, so I want you to know I'm willing to make a very generous offer. But let's discuss it in person, shall we? My schedule is flexible, so tell me what works for you. Kind regards, Javier Lindholm. Physical evaluation. Peter, your uh, physiological uh, evaluation turned up some interesting stuff. I think it would be good for you to come speak with me sometime so I can make sure you understand the questions properly and you can provide some clarity on your answers. It's psychological, not physio physiological. For instance, I think you may have completely misunderstood question number six. I'm not even sure that person works on Mars, let alone for this company. Let's chat a bit and try to resolve this so I can submit a proper evaluation. Thanks, Gilly. Shipment. Mr. Brennan, I'm writing to let you know that you have an outstanding tax balance. As a consequence, we've held up a shipment for you in hopes that it'll motivate you to speak with us and come pay off your balance so that we can release it to you. As we value Deimos as a local business, we don't wish to see this escalated any further than it needs to due to a personal matter such as this. Thank you for under, under understanding, Glenhurst, Governor Sidonia. Hello. Hello, loser. Since I learned that you don't even check your work computer for actual purposes, I realized I can say anything I want here and you'll never know. Blarg. Boogity boogity boo! See? I can just say nonsense if I want to and it doesn't matter. But here's some real truth for you. You've got a B.O. problem. You're lazy and incompetent. You're an entitled trust fund kid who lucked into your position because of who you know. But not even that. It's because of who your daddy knows. Yet they can't fire you because it'd be bad for the company for some reason. What a joke. You never even learned my name. I was your assistant for three damn years. It's Tim. It's not even hard to say. It's three letters. Working for you made me so mad. I'm glad I quit. I bet you didn't even notice. 
Tim O'Shea. Oh, poor Tim. <laughs> and then we've got requests. Current requests. PTO policy. Request PTO, submitted by Andreas Jensen. Notes, some of us, self-included, have been working hard here for almost 15 years, but we're still stuck with the standard 10 days off per calendar year. Now, I'm grateful for the employment, but I've heard from some buddies back home that they get 15 days paid time off once they hit 10 years of service. Any chance we could do the same? Thank you. Can approve or return to, let's approve that. Yeah, sure. Return to request. Replacement mining equipment. <clears throat> Request replacement mining equipment submitted by Trevor Petier. Notes, our current mining equipment is woefully insufficient to yield results matching our quotas. It's older than most of our miners. Our tools break down, they jam, and a lot of time is wasted on fixing them to operable condition. As you can see, we've been able to just barely batch our current quotas, as per this condition, as per the conditions you set, which should help make the difference in initial costs for this requ request. But if we had upgraded equipment, we'd be able to increase our mining yields by at least an additional 75%, which would increase our overall profits. We can approve. All right. And that completes the mission. But there's also drink selection. Request drink selection submitted by Layla Pulowski. I just want the company to offer some different drink options for the break area. Thanks. We can approve. Return to requests. Messages. Submitted by Leona Hawks. Notes, I've gotten word from the other executives that you haven't been replying to your messages in a timely manner. I'm writing this request in hopes that you or your assistant, when we hire one, might see it here and get on that. Um... Okay, we'll approve this request? Sure. Good request. There we go. Ah, life as a clerk. Making executive decisions. Helping out everybody. I see. Wait a moment. I could have sworn there. No, sir. I am the company psychologist. Same as last time you asked. Ah, right. I knew that. Uh, keep up the good work, then. Wow. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. One second, everybody. Anyone who wants to attempt to drink me under the table ready to go on now is welcome to try bring your credits Okay, are you sure you want to leave this message for all miners? I should remind you Matt would like to join Sidonia in celebrating over 275 years of living on Mars right. The so United so Colonies are proud to support back everybody. Thank you so much for your patience Who is Hank? But there's always time I'm back I managed to approve your request. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But... <sighs> It shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Why'd you let him go? Hank's been a difficult employee, to be honest. More interested in showing off than doing good work. He's aggressive. He starts shit with the other employees. He's often late for work and so on. So this came up and I figured maybe he's trying to turn things around. Even though I was reluctant, I wanted to give him a chance. Now I'm questioning if it was a good idea. What do you think happened? 
I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up and it doesn't seem good. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? Yeah, no problem. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. Hooray! We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Okay, speak with ship services. Hello, I am known. I am here to assist the workers with any questions they may have. I am also here for their amusement. Oh, what have you got to say, Gnome? Hello, stranger. I am Gnome. What can I do for you? Um... You look like you've seen better days. What happened to you? I was activated 17 years ago. I malfunctioned and have been in disrepair and unable to move for over nine years. Repairs are too costly and I am well past my warranty expiration. Now, oh my, my primary function is that of an automated personal assistant. It was chosen over deactivation. I don't even know what you can do for me. I can make general announcements and relay messages from one registered miner to another. And I can report about local news. All news and information has been supplied by employees of Deimos' mining operations. I also have been programmed with a limited selection of jokes. But I have been told to warn you, they are not good. Well, we're all familiar with not good jokes on this program. Can you tell me a joke? Why did the snowman need a moist toilet? Because his arms were... sticky. Oh, can you tell me another joke? My doctor told me I need to cancel my camping trip and sell my circus tickets. She said I needed to avoid activities that are intense. Intense. Get it? Camping and circus, and it's it's intense. Those those are intense activities. Tell me another joke. Where does a general keep his armies in his sleeves? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I had to process for a millisecond there. Armies in his sleeveys? Oh man. Give me another one. How can you tell a bad joke from a good joke? A bad joke is fully grown. And we'll take another. My friend was having trouble getting people to sign up for her hide and seek contest. It turns out good players are hard to find. <laughs> but um, but um, tss. Let's get me another one. I could tell you a joke about paper, but it's tear bubble. Okay, I've heard that one before. How does a moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. Uh, come on. I am a great computer, but I'm very tight-lipped. If you ask me what I get when I subtract 7,642 from 7,642, I will say nothing. Well, yeah, that's because that's how math works. How many more do you got? Why did the miner eat her headlamp? Because she wanted a light snack. Just the delivery is so on point. I can only list 25 out of the 26 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. Uh, okay, well better that than X. Did you hear about the outdoor restaurant on Phobos? The food is good, but it lacks atmosphere. <laughs> I slept like a log last night. I woke up in a fireplace. Come on, that was not even funny. I used to be a trash compactor in a shoe store. I had to leave that job because it was soul crushing. Wow, they uh they they put a lot in here. I am reading a book on the effects of anti-gravity. I just can't put it down. Oh, thank you, no. What is the best way to throw a party in space? You plan it. Plan it, there's what's next. I was going to tell you a joke about construction, but I'm still putting it together. Together, right. Why do spacers who live in asteroid belts put beef chunks in their soap? They're accustomed to meteor showers. That just angers me. Ugh, beef chunks in their soap? They're accustomed to meteor showers? Ugh. 
What do you call alien organisms that live in swamps? Martians. <laughs> Why wasn't the scuba diver invited to the company executive's beach party? Because he was below sea level. They keep going, but I think I'm almost done. I just, uh, what's the latest announcement? Don't forget, this month's target goals have been increased by 5%. Failure to meet your new goal may result in termination of your current contract. Good thing you do not work here. Yeah. Do I have any messages? Sorry, you must be an employee of Deimos Star Yards to access the messaging function. And you are not. What's happening in the local news? No doom with this quake. A helpful reminder that subterranean particle fracking has resumed after its recent hiatus. Residents and workers alike are encouraged to heed the warning announcements and brace themselves for any turbulence when the blasts go off. Thankfully, you can rest easy knowing that detonations no longer occur at all hours of the night. Feel free to toss your alarm clocks, however, because they resume bright and early every morning. Be wonderful living here. Any more local news? Treasure in the deep mines. A significant deposit of rare aqueous hematite was discovered in the mines of Sidonia. Thanks to recent discoveries, this mineral is regarded as highly valuable and should lead to increased prosperity for local miners. However, reports indicate that the influx of credits will not go towards repairing any particularly broken robots, <laughs> but towards job creation for people. And that's uh, referencing a quest that we did. Any more local news? Gone, but not forgotten. Rumors swirl about the return of the famed Red Devils. Authorities have reportedly been in discussions to re-establish Mars's most elite fighting force. Of course, I've been reporting this news for 15 years straight. But yes, surely, this time it's really <laughs> going to happen. Anything else? There is currently no new news to report. What about a joke? When is a joke considered a dad joke when it's a parent? A parent? Thank you. How about another? I am out of jokes. Yay! Would you like to hear them again? No. I can repeat them forever, and they will be just as funny. I promise. Well, that's it. Then my instructions are to sit here, do nothing, and be ignored. My programming indicates these are three of my favorite things. Poor gnome. What a life. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a pillar of support for the United States in colonies. Seek your local marine. How's the same go? Show no Well, we gotta go find Hank. Lore Revolution says Gnome is not wrong. Those jokes will be just as funny on repeat. Yes, they would. Anything I can help you with? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. I'm looking for information on Hank Ferraro. I was told he passed through here. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside a city of ways. Hmm. Why would he avoid landing at a port? I've been doing his job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so, and scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. Hmm. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Maybe he's got mechanical problems? Do you have any other information? Did Hank say anything when he departed? Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. Mm, that's about it. Thanks. I'm gonna go back to Trevor with this information and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, something seems off about this. 
You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. Well, thank you, ship services technician. <clears throat> While I'm here, chat was I telling me... I wish there was me... more I could do for you. Sure, have at it. Chat was telling me that I could paint my ship. How do I paint a ship? Color. Oh. Piece by piece. Okay. Um, I wish there were themes. Ooh, okay. So this is, this would take a very long time. Oh, I've got a warning on this ship. What's the warning? This ship is still mi is missing a weapon assignment. All right. I need missiles. What would missiles be? Laser, suppressor. Particle cannon, 13,000, but that increases the mass too much. I can do these. Neutron beam, neutron turret beam, launcher, missile launcher. Class B. Oh, but that's not going to work either. I guess it's the point, the part that I'm doing. There we go. This would work. That's a pulse laser, though. I want, I want missiles. Auto cannon. Average zombie says, hey, Ox, there should be a prompt to select the entire ship to color it at once. Your ship's weapons affect enemy ships different in combat. Okay, this is an auto cannon. Is that like automatically shoot? You can select multiple parts and uh, color them, says chat. All right. Um. Uh. How do I select multiple? Undo and redo. Mouse three is pan. <clears throat> Edit space, flight check, and tab. Double click on one part to select the whole ship, if anything. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is going to be an accent color. Color two. Color three. Oh, neat. Let's make this white. Let's make this Let's try a reddish color. Oh yeah, that's nice. Like a dark red. And then we'll make this brighter red. Mm. This is, should actually be dark. That's not bad. What do you think? Okay. 
Uh, warning, all items will be moved to the cargo hold. There are warnings for the ship in the flight check. Confirm modifications anything? Or anyway? What do you mean all items will be moved to the cargo hold? Enter, I guess. Okay. Cool. All right, well, let's uh, get back to the ship, or to the quest. Thank you, Average Zombie and Art Pixel. Be careful down near the mines and enter any I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. Ship services said that Hank returned, but didn't land at the port. Mm, that's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. What should I do with him if he's guilty of stealing the equipment? Well, see if you can get him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. You want me to rough up Hank if he's being difficult? Hey, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But he's been surly as of late and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Interesting. What would Hank do with all that equipment? Uh, I don't know. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Rachel in the chat says, do you love your space minivan? Is that, is that what it is? A space minivan? I do love it. It's my precious. All right, I'll try to find him and the missing equipment. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. All right, speak with Hank at the bar if he's there. Let's take a paramour. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. You're welcome. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock? There hey. he is. Howdy. You wouldn't last a week in the mines. You know, there's nothing wrong with What do you think of mining work? For dinner, uh, what? Lunch. Standing hey, around, hey, pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? Yeah. It sucks, mm -hmm. but it's easy, so Sorry, whatever. Yeah. I'll bring oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. 
greatest hits. So what's your story? You're not saying you can't my story. My story is that I don't like people oh, asking oh, what my story not. is. Um, just, <laughs> everything would just I'm just messing. But really, I don't want to talk about myself. Well, you know, office space is limited, but we'll see. Everyone around I'll me make is a so chatty. And see what they have to say. What's this? You ever heard about this Heart of Mars thing that Layla's been talking about? What? No. She's never told me about it. Hold on. Is there some big thing everyone knows about that they're just keeping from me? Probably think I can't keep a secret. Fine. I don't want to have anything to do with their stupid Mars heart or whatever it is anyway. What was that? I don't remember that. All right, I've got some questions for you, Hank, about the new equipment. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Uh, no. First we talk. I don't need any dis distractions. Suit yourself. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? We suspect you may have something to do with the missing equipment. Cut the crap. I know you took the new equipment, but I don't know why. I'm just trying to help Trevor. You went to get the equipment, but didn't return. Let's try that. You're right. I didn't want to bring it back. So what I took it. What is going on? What is going I on? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. What is that? And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. What is she doing? So screw Deimos. <laughs> screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Hmm, isn't there a better way? That's <laughs> this lady! Lady, we're in the middle of something here. Do you mind? <laughs> isn't there a better way to get out of your contract than this? No, maybe. I don't know. You know what? Who cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. How could you do that to your co-workers? How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them. And all they do is laugh and talk behind my back. <laughs> they think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This, this whole ridiculous. planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. We got two options. That's a terrible plan, and now that you told me, they'll arrest you. Or tell you what, you give me the equipment, and no one ever needs to know. Well, our primary goal is to get the equipment. Let's try that. Hmm. Well, shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this would be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. I mean, the, the, the goal is that we get the equipment. I'll let Trevor deal with Hank le later. <clears throat> we could say, okay, but if you try anything stupid, I'll go straight to its security. We could go, I promise I won't turn you in. I just want the equipment back. We, should say, we could say, you should know, I'm well-armed and capable of defending myself if you go looking for trouble. Let's try that. Relax, hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Huh. Hank, don't get weird on us now. Or weirder. Oh my god. Was <clears throat> sitting in this stool really that important, lady? Pardon? Hey there. Hi, yes. Phil Hill. What? following missions. They never program the right speed. If I walk, I'm too slow. If I run, I'm too fast.
Chad is saying I need to sneak. Oh, yeah, I'm matching his speed now. <laughs> Let's go, Hank. At your speed, not mine. Let's just walk. We'll walk there. I'm just walking on Mars. Just walking on Mars. Nothing to do but walk you walking on Mars. Well, I doubt that he has all of the equipment stashed over here. He landed somewhere else on the planet. Where is he taking me? This had better not last for an hour. How long is this walk going to be? Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. <laughs> I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Yes, you're so smart, Hank. You're just brilliant. Way to get attention because you're jealous of your coworkers and you don't fit in, and nobody recognizes how much of a genius you are. Oh, how long are you going to walk? How about sprinting? It's Mars. Look, look at this. Look, see how fast I go? See how high? Wouldn't that be fun? You want to try leaping a little bit? We are on Mars. Oh man, I made him stop. I made him stop. Okay, just keep going. Sorry. All right, I'll just walk slowly behind you so you don't take little breaks. Jeff says, prepare for a long walk. Von Rex says, you are going to be walking for a long time. Really? Why would they do this to me? Oh, okay, sorry for jumping. Just keep going. Oh. Oh, this is what we gotta do. This is the game right now, folks. We just gotta you sneak know, on it's Mars. Too bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, what were you thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then... You would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing I found you, and I'm glad you see that too. The fact that you do is giving me cause for pause. Well, whatever, we'll just keep walking for now on Mars instead of, you know, like running or jumping because that's what you do on Mars without the gravity and all that. We'll just uh, do a little shuffle. This is the Mantis Shuffle. See my fancy helmet? That makes me the Mantis. I'm doing the Mantis Shuffle. Almost there, all right. I had to park my ship off a ways so they wouldn't find it right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. Yeah, I get it. it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. Eh? I mean, you know, what? maybe we'll take the ship back to what? port and <laughs> let someone else unload it. <laughs> save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Oh, right, yeah, he's planning uh, to anyway, kill me. Uh, see it just up ahead? Yeah, I see it. You're, you're going to kill me, right? You're going to try and attack me? At least you won't have to walk back, he says. What exactly is your plan? I'm going to quick save just in case. There's the ship. I see it, Hank. You're being awfully chummy right now. At least you won't have to walk back, he says. Wow, that's totally not a threat. Right. 
That's enough. Now face me. Oh. Oh gosh, I didn't know this was going to happen. Who could have predicted that that this would happen, Hank? We could say, yeah, I knew you wanted me alone so you could kill me. Let's do this. We could say, shoot me. Why? Or we could pass a persuade check to say, we don't have to do this, Hank. We can talk through this. Um, I need to pass more persuade checks to level up persuade, so let's do it. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Right, well, this is a really difficult one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy cow. All right, this is a joke, right? You're gonna fight me? Hey, I... I'm not, uh... Killing me won't save you. Other people suspect you're up to something. Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I'll look like a hero. Even if you kill me... Well, hold on. No, let's do it. Even if you kill me, your plan won't work out the way you think it will. I don't care. Crap. I've got to try. I got nothing else. Sorry. But I gotta do this my way. Oh, man. And that means... You need to die. Ah, we can handle this. No Hanks necessary. <laughs> Thank you for that, Barrett. No Hanks necessary? Clever. Man, that was recorded just for this one event. Right. No Hanks necessary. Okay, well, uh... There's the ship. Can we take this ship? Watchdog inaccessible. See, Hank? Look how fast this is. We could have done this the entire time. But no, you wanted to walk slowly to your own death. Why? See, we're, we're halfway there already. I should probably fast travel, huh? I'm sad they wouldn't let me go into the ship. Ari e. Coyote says no code to get off of him. I didn't see one. I looted his body and I didn't see a code. Yeah, but Hank's chance. dead. Just not him. Any luck? Stimpy, you idiot! In chat says, would love to watch these lives. Do you have a rough outline of your plans with the game? Are you doing the main story, then doing other faction runs? When are you going to work on settlements? Great question. I'm looking forward Stimpy. to hearing all about this. Now don't worry. As long as you play it cool around Peter, you'll be fine. Oh, who's Peter now? Why are we talking about Peter? Um, <clears throat> to answer your first question, I don't have a rough out. Look, I, I kind of have a, a rough outline. To answer your second question, yes, that's my rough outline. To answer your third question, I will, but not now. Because it's at the end of my outline. But I will eventually get to crafting settlements. Well, I found out what happened to Hank and the equipment. Oh, do tell. What took him so long? 
Hank stole it in hopes you'd all get fired. Then he tried to kill me. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Thanks. All right. Still looking to help us out? Maybe check with Rivka. She seems to be having a rough go as of late. Rivka? Mission updated media sponge. Who's Rivka? Let's set it active. Well. Shame what happened with Hank. It's never ending here on Mars. Interestingly, that that persuasion check is the most difficult one I've had in the game. Rivka. Do you want to hear the song I just made up? I'm a bunny, you're a bunny, he's a bunny, ha! I'm still working on it. That's great, kid. Lovely song. Wow. Such accommodations. Hey, wake up! Since you helped us out with the equipment and all... <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> Yikes, Rivka! Who are you, and what do you do here? We'll get to that. Will you listen to what I have to say first? Well, that was a great dialogue choice. We could say no, I'd rather not catch whatever you've got. Sure, I'm all ears, or I hope you're okay. That cough doesn't sound good at all. It's... it's probably... <coughs> not, but... I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> Just a case of Mars Lung, I'm sure. You've heard of that Mars Lung? Spending too much time on Mars? Any idea what's causing it? No idea. Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. Or it could be something worse. We could say, well, that's too bad. I hope you're able to get help. Or you should go see the doctor. I'm sure they can find a way to help. Or I could offer some money to help. Let's try that. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade, and congratulations to Jake Lewis, Farbod Hemanti, Pyro, Lloydster, and Pavel. Congratulations all, and thank you so much, Wade. <clears throat> we could say, no, really, I want to help. Here, have a med pack. Thanks, I'll try it, but... I really should see an actual doctor. It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. That's kind of you. But she needs more assistance. See, Bear it like that! I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. Uh -oh. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Goodness. What happened with your father? Why is he trying to track you down? It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Mm. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. 
It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up into the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. Her own father? Jeez. But if you don't get help for your illness, wouldn't that be worse? <coughs> it's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. Sure, If sure. my father finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. What did your father do to you that made you take such drastic measures? After my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me, so he started monitoring everything I did. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. <clears throat> well, I can pay your father a visit if you'd like. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know, he has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? Anything you can tell me about your father that might help? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until... <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Grew angry, dangerous. He was no longer himself. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. It's worth a try. Okay, dropping names. I'll do it, just tell me where to find him. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. Oh, back to he Neon. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Well, where am I going to get a bottle of French Harvest Reserve? If I do this for you, can you promise whatever happened with him won't happen again? As much as possible, yes. I intend to patch things up with him and work with him on our mutual issues. I believe with therapy we could repair our relationship as damaged as it is. Or if you discover it is irreparable, at least you could put the fear of God in him and that should deter him from taking further action. Are you sure there aren't any other options? There may be, but getting him to listen to you is the key here. And what I've told you is the surest way I can think of. There was a time he had a falling out with his brother, and that whiskey did the trick to bring them back together. With that gift, he will know I am sincere. Red Harvest Whiskey. Okay, got it. I'll see what I can do to get you out of this mess. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... 
know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Okay, Media Sponge. All right, well, interesting new side quest. Yosef Ali. Wait, no. Runaway is this quest. What's Media Sponge? Mitch Benjamin has asked me to get a first edition copy of a book in the Dragon Star Force series from an off. Okay, so this is the one that I got. Right. Well, let's focus on Runaway now. Yosef Ali became a Bronze Ox. Thank you so much, Yosef Ali. Man, she was rolling those R's. Bad person. Mm-hmm. Mining flag. Tips, all types. I'd stay away if I were you. What? Oh, what? And now, a word from one of our clients. I could use a break. Okay, hello. Been serving drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. I thought I've, I've gone through all of his dialogue options. <clears throat> well, uh, let's go through them then if I haven't already. I heard about something called the Red Devils. Know anything about them? Only that I didn't care much for them getting disbanded years ago. and I don't care much for the rumors they're coming back someday. Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar... No one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Uh, <clears throat> well, I guess I can respect that. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. Okay. What's good to drink around here? Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. <laughs> I like this guy. I hear you're the man to see about Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office, or something. Wow. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. Well, now we know. <clears throat> we could steal it from Governor Hurst. Um. Why, how expensive can this whiskey be? <laughs> you don't get it. This whiskey was aged in barrels buried in Martian soil, which leached into it, giving the whiskey its distinct red hue. They don't make this stuff anymore and never will. The exact process was lost. There's a finite amount of this stuff left in the universe. You're lucky I got any at all. We can try to pass a persuade check to say it's important. I need it to help save Rivka Ovadia's life. Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. Oh, and another really difficult one. Three turns. Well, I wouldn't be asking you for this if there wasn't any other way. I smell... Bullshit. You do realize it sounds like you're trying to swindle me here, right? Please, think of Rivka. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Uh, that's better. Can we move on to the part where you give it to me? It might be okay. Rivka's sick. I need this to get her to her father before he tracks her down. Yeah? Oh, come on! And how do I know you're not just using her story to get your hands on rare whiskey? 
Sorry, not buying your story. You want that whiskey, you gotta pay full price. Final offer. It was green! 15,000 credits? I'll think about it. Yeah. I didn't think you were serious. Well, yeah. Looks like we're stealing from the corrupt governor that we just sent to prison. I still can't believe we finally got all those new mining tools. Fifteen K for a bottle of whiskey. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others, or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. Barrett, out of my way. Right. It's two in the morning, though. He should be asleep. Does he not sleep? My first if you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other levels, try to keep them... What are you doing awake at two in the morning? Hope Mr. Brennan's treating you right. You're definitely someone worth having around for tricky situations. Enjoy Sidonia. Oh my god. Well, geez. I tell you, Sidonia's a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately, despite what the news media's been reporting. You simply won't find a politician who works harder for his people than I do. Yeah, you did. And you didn't dislike it. You didn't dislike it, Barrett. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> yeah, I got the booze. All right. <laughs> Time to set up a meeting with the Watch father. Watch out for the robots. They're surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I just pushed him out of the room. Oh, Bethesda, I love you so much. <laughs> Okay. I gotta see this thing. What does a $15,000 bottle of whiskey look like? Oh man. Red Harvest Reserve, aged 50 years? Wow. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open as I explore the world. Now that I know this is valuable. Look at my red behemoth. 
Looks nice. It might be too red though. Maybe I did, maybe I overdid it a little bit. Just a bit too much red. Okay. Foley two. Vol two. Such a big ship. <laughs> this is Freestar Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Back to Neon. We're going to the hotel. Gila City's hostile wildlife is outside the walls. Neon's hostile wildlife is certainly within. Elise says Ox, you have a skill point to use. That's right, I do. Wade Speakerman says Isabella Islay is a bottle of whiskey that costs $6.2 million per bottle. How many are you buying? I mean, when I get the money, we'll see. Okay, well, we maxed out piloting, which is what we wanted to do. We could work on security, but I need to uh, lock a few more things here. We could work on persuasion, which is definitely something I need to... Oh, can we do that one? It's available. 50% increased chance of succeeding when persuading. I mean, I gotta. We've maxed out persuasion. Hooray. I should have used that earlier. Now... There's so much I could work on. I think I really want to start upgrading my equipment, and for that, I'm going to need weapon engineering. So we're going to work on geology, I guess. Or we could dump points into medicine. I think I'm going to have to be doing some uh, talking here, so let's go ahead and use one of my uh, paramour, if I can find it. It's nice to see you today. You're not even looking at me, but okay. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <clears throat> what sort of luxury accommodations do you have? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> that's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. What do you mean, administrative influence? Well, almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and all of the other megacorporations. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. That must have taken a miracle to arrange. Well, you're very lucky then, or I didn't think such a business existed in this world. Let's try miracle to arrange. No miracle. Just some good old-fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? 
Julian Z says, Ox, do you think there's any real world scotch bottle that costs 15K and would you drink it? You know, there probably is. People love their scotch. 15K is a lot of money, but there probably is. And would I drink it? I mean, of course I would. Would I pay for it? No. Would I drink it? Yes. <laughs> okay, um... I don't want my paramour to run out, so let's focus on the primary plot. I have a delivery. Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey for Natan Ovadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. All right, a room on the third floor. So go out, have your fun, live your life. There he is. Well, let's make this quick. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? We could attack! I'm just a simple delivery person here to ruin your life like you've ruined Rivka's. We could say whatever. Look, I just came here to get you to leave her alone so she can get medical treatment. Or we could try to pass a persuade check to say I'm here to talk to you about Rivka. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Well, you're talking to a guy that has maxed out his persuasion. We could get two points Oh, we've got two blue options here. We could say, please accept the red whiskey. Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. Or we can say, this isn't what Belinda would have wanted, is it? Belinda? How oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. Well... I kind of want to keep the whiskey for myself. I'm sure I'll find another bottle out there. We could give the whiskey. Please accept the red whiskey. Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. Or we could try this one. And I keep the whiskey. I ah! don't disagree with you. All right, we need three more. With one turn left. Did we try it? I know I got I caught you off guard. We can take our time if need be. Let's try it. No! You certainly did. And I do not appreciate this intrusion. Sorry, but I stand firm in my decision. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be calling security to deal with you. Crap. Unless, if you tell me where she is hiding, I will agree to let you go scot-free. No security. All charges against you will be dropped. Uh, we could say we have a deal. Rivka is in Sidonia. She works in the mines. We could say call security then. I won't turn her in or we can attack. You would threaten me? I'll kill you before you can beg for forgiveness. Wrong answer, buddy. That's all, huh? Well, I killed her dad. That solves the problem, right? I'm loading a save. Is this the right one? I am passing that speech check, and I'm going to keep that bottle of whiskey if it's the last thing I do. Wade Speakerman says, A bottle of 1926 McClellan Fine and Rare, 60 years old, sold for $1.9 million. Really? Wow. I, I'm amazed. Well, let's make this quick. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? So what then? Persuade? Oh, of course it was. My own daughter. Now you th Uh, ooh, here's a four. I know I caught you off guard. We can take our time if need be. Ah, uh, thanks. I'm, I'm still collecting my thoughts. 
This isn't what Belinda would have wanted. Belinda? How oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. Ah. And we only need one more. Rivka's sick. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young, and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. <clears throat> how will you make up for how you've treated her these past several years? She told you about that. I'm not proud of it. I've wrestled with it ever since my wife died. I have been a terrible father. It will be up to Rivka how she wants me to make amends, and I will do whatever it takes. If she wants money, she'll get it. If she wants me to go to therapy, I will. Whatever it takes. I promise. Okay. If you break your word, I will hunt you to the edge of the stars. Yes, of course. Understood. I will drop the charges against her immediately. I will call off the bounty hunters. Anything for you to leave me be. Please, just go. If she so much as sounds unhappy, we'll be back. Barrett liked that. All right. I am racking up the affinity points with Barrett this broadcast. I haven't gotten a single dislike yet, to my knowledge. We'll check in with him when all is said and done. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna steal. I'm just looking, looking around. It's quite the hotel room. All right, nothing here. Let's go. Stay good. I'll be watching you. Ooh. Now that is a cool fish tank. Can I have one for my ship? Julian Z says, wow, Wonks, you really want that whiskey? Speaking of, what's the most aged drink you've ever had? I think the most Welcome aged drink I've ever had hotel. is 30 You're years old. Away from home here on I have, however, had a 50-year-old cigar. It was for my bachelor party over 12 years ago now. My brother bought me a 50-year-old cigar during my bachelor party, and we enjoyed it in the basement of a speakeasy in Portland. It was wonderful. My brother really knows me. I've got a 15,000 bottle of whiskey, and I'm gonna put it in my ship. That's right. I'm gonna put it on display in my ship. A big bulbous red ship, because it's worth 15,000 bucks, and it's whiskey. Okay, where to put it? I want it somewhere where I'm going to see it every time I walk around my ship. Oh, there are no shelves here. I guess I got to go this way. Glad to see you're back in one piece. Move. Move, Len. Move. Move, Len. Move. All right, we got a table here. A desk there. There would be the... We got a bathroom. No table there. I guess I'm going to put it uh, put it right here. Do you need me for something? Let's see. How do I do this? Is it... Can you control items like you can in Fallout and Skyrim? Let's go to aid. What's it called? Red? Is it an aid? Miscellaneous? Resources? I didn't give it to him. I got to keep it, right? What? I didn't choose the option to give it to him.
why don't I have it? Red Devils, no. Red Harvest Reserve, there it is. Why couldn't I find it? Okay, so let's drop it. Quest items can't be removed from your inventory. I didn't use it in the quest. It's no longer a quest item. Well, that's why I couldn't see it. It's a quest item. Still. Oh, man. Well, I'll try again after I complete the quest. Chat says I should put it on the dashboard of my cockpit. I don't know if I can find a place where it's flat. Maybe right there? That might be a good place. Well, if I can even do it. Ludwig with a sticker tip. Thank you so much, Brad Ludwig. He says it's contraband. It's not contraband, it's stolen. Contraband is yellow. Stolen items are red. All right, let's see if this, uh, if turning in the quest Some of the first it. people who left Earth stood around here and wondered how they were going to survive humanity's most perilous moment. Astounding to imagine. Very astounding, Barrett. Travis says, Ox, your ship looks like a space U-Haul. That's exactly the look I was going for. <laughs> Just <coughs> heard that the charges against me have been dropped. Whatever you said to my father worked. It sounds as if I may finally be safe. I reasoned with him, then threatened him if he went back on his word. Or you let me know if he ever bothers you again, all right? I doubt it will come to that, but yes. I now know I have a friend I can count on when I'm in trouble. And then we tell them what we tell her that we threatened them. Thankfully, it sounds as if that may not be necessary, but it is good to know such a guarantee exists. It is good that this chapter of my life is now closed and I can <coughs> finally get the help I need. Thank you. Okay, quest complete, run away. Media Sponge, quest marked. Let's do it. You cannot fast travel while jumping or falling. Ah.
Okay, maybe I can find a place in my cockpit where I can see this bottle every time I sit down. Could I set it, like, right there? Would I knock it over on accident? Maybe right there? Let's try this. Now, will it appear in the aid section? No. Where does... There it is. It's in the miscellaneous section. I guess it's not an actual consumable object. Drop it. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Don't break! How do I turn it around? Oh. No! I mean, that's a pretty decent spot for it. I want to move it on a different axis. You look well. Did you need my help with something? Ah. Whoa! By looting that, I just got a bounty. Are you kidding me? By looting that, I just got a bounty? Because my own crew saw me steal it. Which is why she's running. You're kidding me. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? That is so lame. That is so lame! I guess I gotta keep it in my inventory. <laughs> I just got a $412 bounty by looting something I already stole because people aboard my ship saw me drop it and pick it up again. Oh, this is the last autosave I have. All right, let me go do it. The UC exchange is a great place to buy your weapon. Eloud says, you picked up that thing you just dropped? You done it now. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I doubt it will come. Thankfully, it sounds... It is good that this... Thank you. Okay. Well, I kept the whiskey, but now I can't do anything with it because it's stolen. I'm gonna have to get, like, a, a display cabinet or a display case and put it in there. No less. I'm embarrassed, and I wasn't even there. Thomas says, go to the trade authority and sell it and then buy it back for the same price. It'll no longer be stolen. Also, hit shift to change the axis of rotation. Oh, okay. Julian Z says, Ox, you can remove the stolen marker by selling it to the trade authority and then using the buy back option at no extra cost. Great, thank you, Julian Z. Well, I'll try that another time. Right now, I want to work on the other quest that I have. Can't believe I got a bounty. By my own crew. Shows where their loyalties lie.
Okay, now to find comic books. Or space fantasy novels, I guess is what it is. To follow. Well, I've only been here once before, and I didn't really uh, smell the roses while I was here last. I think I just briefly stepped inside. I have another side quest here where I gotta confront the cowboy. I don't wanna hear any complaints. The pit stop. Okay. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. Quick save and talk. If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> A marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Devin Thompson says, good to see you again, Ox. I've been on deployment for the last eight months, and I'm glad to be back. Keeping up with your content, can't wait to see more. Thank you, Devin. I'm glad you made it back. So good to see you here. All right, we could say, so what's the trade authority doing in Hope Town? Eh, a little of this, a little of that. Anything we can do to facilitate trade. So Hope Town's all right with you being here? Security and I have come to a very equitable arrangement, beneficial to all parties. It's always nice to see the trade authority. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Why are you set up in a bar? I've never been much for offices or a storefront. But here, people from all over the system come here. A true crossroads. Let's trade. I'll take any cargo you want to unload. All right, well, let's try what the chat was saying, and let's try and sell my bottle of whiskey. It, he's only offering me 102 for it. Let's see if I can buy it back for the same price. Okay. Let's go to... Whoops. There was a time when... Ev Delightful. Uh... I don't see a buyback option. Maybe it's still there. Yeah, he's not selling it for the same price. He's selling it for 820. <clears throat> Maybe, oh, it's because I closed the inventory. I see, okay. Let's load my quick save. It needs to be done in the same transaction, says the chat. Okay. If I am not a marvelous place. Eh, a little of it. Security and I? Are you? <laughs> so. I've never been much. But here. Literal. Okay, so sell. Miscellaneous. Harvest reserve. Buy, miscellaneous, digipix. Buy back, harvest reserve. 
Okay. Is there anything else in my inventory that I need, I need to remove the tag from? Let's go to sell. Um, yeah, I've got some aid. Med packs. Neurojack. Biosuppressant. Oh my gosh, why do I have playing cards and all sorts of crap like that? Alright. So let's go to buy. Buy back. Now, uh, we need a, a comic book. Dragon Star Force, Volume 1. 100 caps. Let's do it. What else has he got? Let's see. Am I carrying anything I need to sell? Explosive. Why is that not hot? Bard. Spacesuits. Demo spacesuit. Reactive navigator pack. Yeah, it's not as good as my own. Looks better, though. Varun space helmet. Oh, I could put on a Demos cap. I didn't even realize I had it. Let's see if there's anything in the ship inventory that I need to sell. Yeah, I don't know why I keep getting all this stuff. I don't even remember looting all of this. Evan says every object in your ship was moved to cargo when it did the reset while painting. Oh, is that why I'm getting all this stuff? That's really annoying. Free money. Okay. Ronald Ball with a super tip. Thank you so much, Ronald Ball. Cool. Well, day is always a good day. Again, no real reason to hang around here for very long. I'm sure we'll come back later for more quests. I can't believe we've been spending the entire broadcast just trying to take care of all 
of the quests that we've been accumulating on Mars. Kitchen sink. Well, it's a bummer that if I make any changes at all to my spaceship, that all the decorations I Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Are just gonna be added to the cargo. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Warning glass and still What? <sighs> I wish there were more kids. Ah. Are so Quite a labyrinth. Hey, I haven't seen you around here. Best not be looking for trouble, right? I've seen some karate videos. <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> I, uh, I hope getting that book won't be too much trouble. Oh, did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume 1, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? <laughs> uh, we could say, yeah, I've got it right here. We could pass a persuade check. Now, hold on a second. This one was hard to get. I want a little extra. Hold on a second. Will Barrett hate that? Hey, I thought you said you had the book. Do you? Or not? Let's quick save here before we persuade for more. Oh, did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume 1, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? This was hard to get. I want a little extra. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I deserve more and you know it. I know. I know. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Uh, okay. I guess it's the least I could do for making you go out of your way to find it for me. I'm giving you my other copy of this book because everyone should read Dragon Star Force once in their life. <laughs> Enjoy. What? What? He has another copy? Why would he pay me to go get him this book if he had a copy? I'm so confused. What? Dragon Star Force, Volume 1. The universe is in chaos. 
the evil Sarklon, an alien being born of pure hatred, has amassed his secret armies to rain destruction upon the people of the allied worlds. A young man, Zephrix Laserbrand, is thrust into the conflict when he discovers he's the descendant of a great hero, and one of the only ones capable of wielding the Dragon Star, a magical weapon capable of defeating Sarklon and bringing peace to the galaxy. But first, it must be found. It was a first edition, says the chat. Okay, all right, this is why I wasn't paying attention to the chat. I, I wasn't paying attention to the quest. He wanted a first edition. That makes sense. Okay. Well, there you go. Anything else for me? I wish that stupid detonation alarm wouldn't wake me up when I'm trying to take a nap. <laughs> but they gotta make it loud enough for the miners to hear. What's there to do around here for fun? Ooh, yeah. I'm probably not the best person to ask about this. I mostly stay inside, watch movies, read books, and hang out with my friends. But there's a couple of bars around here. Uh, one's for the mine workers and one for everyone. Some people like hiking around Mars. It's a cool planet for that, I hear. Uh, people just kind of make their own fun here. New Atlantis, this ain't. You don't look much like a miner or a marine. So what are you doing living here? What's that supposed to mean? But just because I look like I couldn't bench press a stick of raw spaghetti, I, I don't fit in here? Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I got some issues that prevent me from working and modern medicine could only help so much. I was offered an experimental treatment and unfortunately, instead of getting cool superpowers, I got more medical conditions. <laughs> But it's okay. They offered me this condo and set me up with enough money to get by without working. I live pretty well, all wow. things considered. Well, that's quite a backstory. <laughs> uh, are you going to be okay? I try not to let it get me down. Right now, I'm just focused on living the best life possible. I may have been dealt a shit hand of cards, but I decided to say, screw that! <laughs> I'm going to play however I want instead. <laughs> Though, no, no, uh, some things would be easier if I wasn't bound to my home. Well, now I feel bad for persuading him to spend more money. You don't get bored without a job to do? <laughs> I'm bored? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I got more entertainment at my fingertips than I'll ever finish. Even if it takes forever to get to Sidonia. I don't think I'll ever be bored. And I'm certainly not going to waste my life working if I don't have to. Why don't you leave Sidonia? Well, I don't have the kind of money to pick up and leave. And otherwise, I kind of like it in Sidonia. My friends live here. Yeah, I get some credits every month, but <laughs> I'm no millionaire. Besides, I share my money. I blow it all on games, movies, comics, books, and other stuff for me and my friends. I feel like it's better to spend it now. And create good memories for us. Well, I wish you the best. Yeah, thanks. You too. Nice to have visitors. Well, you seem really into entertainment, so what do you recommend? Ooh, yeah, I, I recently saw Two Dates for Darla 4. <laughs> it was hilarious, <laughs> even better than the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can ask this one over and over. Have you seen the new Norvici movie? I mean, I didn't like it as much as his last film, but it was all right. I saw a cool horror movie called That. Just that. Just got the crap out of me. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> that was excellent delivery. Have you seen that? <laughs> nope. Oh, there was this live action movie adaptation of an old animated show. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> My friends and I almost died laughing. <laughs> we had to stop like three times just to catch our breath. His laugh is incredible. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> the Radical Adventures of Jim and James. Yeah, it's super old, but it still made me crack up. Hmm. Oh, I saw a movie about this magic-using gnome who goes on this grand fantasy adventure and gets into all sorts of trouble. Wish I could remember the name. Is that a reference? Like a pop culture reference that I don't understand? A magical gnome that gets into trouble? Ark with a sticker tip. Thank you so much, Ark. 
He says, finally catching an aux stream is great. I'm usually asleep since hey, I work nights. Are you going to say something? Well, it's good to have you here, Ark. I accidentally started watching the sports movie because it was on and I was too lazy to change the channel. It's about this underdog team full of losers. It goes on to win the championship. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about? Anyway, it wasn't bad. Yeah, like every other sports movie out there. I recently binged a bunch of older flicks from before people left the system. A lot of them still hold up. Eh, nothing new. Oh, wait. I saw a movie about this weird bug that looked like a stick and, and it, it danced. Uh, not sure what they were going for, uh, but it was fun. <laughs> Return of the Interceptor. It was cool, but I think the series is starting to get old. Uh, we'll see how number eight is. Hey, have you ever seen Das Raumschiff? Everyone says it's amazing, but I don't know. It seemed kind of boring to me. This goes on and on and on. Mm. Das Raumschiff? Anyone in the chat know German? Das Raumschiff? What does that mean? Hey, have you ever seen Das Raumschiff? Okay, we're starting to get the Everyone same Everyone says one. it's amazing, but I don't know. It seemed kind of boring to me. This goes on and on and on. Okay, I think we recycled all of his options. I can help you out with those books again if you'd like. Oh, God, uh, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, man, are we going to complete the set? I'll do it, but the bay better, uh, pay had better be good. Thanks, but uh, don't, don't worry about it. I'm not going to cheap out on you. All right. Media Sponge. A reminder Buy the Dragon Star Force book. Today is not an officially sanctioned holiday, and that it is not advised to allow children into potentially dangerous work sites. Keep our. I'm in a labyrinth here. I'm just gonna go to the ship. Is it a different book? If it's the same book, then I'm not gonna do this quest again. But if it's a different book every time, then I'm I'm happy to unlock the full story of Dragon Force. Or Dragon Sponge, or whatever it's called. Eisen Clown Werewolf says it means the spaceship. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Eisen Clausen. Or Eisen Clown. Right, where's it gonna send us this time? Centauri. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And the complete. Okay, we are going to New Atlantis. Evan Johnson says there's ten. Oh god, really? There are ten of these? Dear Lord, am I going to do this quest ten times? Hey, no loitering. I guess I am. You'll be scanned as you enter the city. the well. You look like you need something, yeah? Of course, trade authority. Oh! 
Okay, now I've seen everything. The Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, I of course, of course. Let's go to notes. All right, Dragon Star Force Volume Two. Let's get it. If you need anything else, you know where to find. The hunt for the Dragon Star continues. Zephrax and his heroic companions, Protonius, the Android, Laglorelei, the Princess of Zlax, and Jarmon the Changeling may have escaped from the clutches of Sarklon and destroyed his asteroid fortress, but the galaxy is still in peril. With Sarklon now in pursuit of the Dragon Star himself, it's a race for who will control the fate of the universe. Yes. There are ten of these. Ten? Dear God. I respect the folks in the military individually, but being surrounded by them can be more stressful than being on a planet with no magnetosphere and a worn out spacesuit. Okay, you know, Barrett, we've been doing quests all broadcast. I've gotten a number of likes from you. Do you like me again? Yes. Okay, well, I can talk with his about him up for personal issues, but he doesn't have anything new for me. Damn. How long does it take to increase his affinity? Oh, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Me? You want to talk to me? Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Psychic Afro Dancer says the constellation quest you're on locks out personal quests. Some like slash hate cutscenes still happen, just no companion questline progression. Sorry, Ox. Chat would have thrown me out the airlock if I told you too soon, lol. You know, somebody came by at the beginning of the broadcast and told me the same thing. I guess I don't understand why I'm still getting likes from him and why his dialogue got locked out in my last broadcast and then reopened in this one if he's just no longer accruing affinity. K. Uh, McD says, Oxhorn, I just looked it up. Dragonstar has 30 volumes. The creds and XP do keep going up, though. 30 volumes? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing this. Not doing it. I'll turn in this one, but that's it. I mean, maybe I'll accept his next quest, but... 30 volumes? If you need a Good quiet God. spot to think, the community center? <sighs> All those sad people out there. Wish I could help them, but... If only someone could help me. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm so bored. <laughs> My mom and dad say not to talk to people I don't know, so I thought maybe I could talk to you, and then I know you, and I won't be so bored. Poor kid. Um, I'm really not someone you want to talk to, kid. It's probably best to respect your parents' wishes then, don't you think? I don't know if that loophole works out the way you think it does. Or we can say, can't argue with that logic. Sure, we can talk. I'm Oxhorn. 
See? Now we're friends! And my parents can't say I'm not allowed to talk to you! Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Well, do you like living on Cydonia? It's okay, I guess. It's better than living outside, because Mars can't support life outside and I'd die. Well, yeah, but there's that. <laughs> maybe it would be nice to live on another planet someday. I think I used to when I was a real little kid. And sometimes my mom and dad would take me to visit my grandma and grandpa in New Atlantis. There are lots of other kids your age to play with around here. Not really. I mean, there's Taiye. He's a good friend. But he's also one of my only friends. There aren't many kids on Mars, because my mom says that this is really only a place where people come to work hard jobs for a little while. But I wish there were more kids, because it gets boring, like when Taiye is busy and my mom and dad are off working. There can't be much for kids to do around here. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things and give them to people since they're so moby all the time. It makes them smile. Actually, want to help me? I just drew these great pictures of Space Frog, but I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? Space Frog? What's a Space Frog? It's Space Frog from Outer Space. And <laughs> he's a little frog character that I made up. Okay. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad or need help. He's great. Does that actually help people? My mom says it does. She says her work friends like my drawings because they make them smile. She says it's because there aren't many kids here and lots of people miss having kids around. Or it reminds them of their families. Are your parents okay with this? Yeah, they've let me do it before. But they're working, so they can't help me do it and they don't let me leave the condos without them. They say it's for my safety. But my friend Taya's mom sometimes lets him go out without her. I don't know. Sure, I'd love to. Just tell me where to put them. You will? Thank you, thank you, thank you! People are gonna be so happy! Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much! Okay. A friendly reminder that the well, litter off the balcony is prohibited. Please post the space frog drawings. I will. Growing up in Sidonia, you gotta be tough. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get that book. Oh, you're uh, back because you found the next book, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I feel bad having to pass a persuade check. <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute. I only need to pass. No, I've maxed out persuasion. All right, I'm not going to, you know, soak this guy for more money. So I'll say, yeah, I've got it right here. Oh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I can't wait to read it again. And then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. <laughs> Here's some money, I promised. All right. Well, let's get the next one. Just taking things day by day, you know? Let's see if he has anything else to recommend. I recently binged a bunch of older... Same thing. All right. Oh, God, uh, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Sure. I appreciate it. I I'll be sure to make it up to you. Okay. Well, we've got Space Frog from Outer Space. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm running low on time. Here's the thing. Now that I know... I've, I've had multiple people in the chat now tell me that uh, essentially affinity for my companions is frozen, which seems extremely strange to me that they would actually have a portion of the game that you could go and complete all of the side quests in the game if you really wanted to, but you wouldn't get any companion affinity during that time. There's a portion of the game that completely locks down any companion affinity gain. Apparently that's the way it works. So, um... 
we need to move on with the primary plot. And I think I'm going to do that really quickly. Right now, we'll have somebody die. I guess Barrett or... Well, we'll have somebody die. Uh, it's just so that we can move on in the next episode, all right? So we're going to go back to the lodge, get that taken care of, and then we'll complete Space Frog from Outer Space and many of the other quests that we have when we actually have the ability to continue to accrue affinity with our companions. Okay. So. Thomas McCormick says, is it to avoid people from cheesing the system? I don't understand why it would be a Life cheese. will almost certainly arise on planets when the right conditions are met. There's a beauty in such persistence. Do a manual save. One second. I don't know why it's how why, why it would be considered a cheese because all you're doing is choosing to max out your character's affinity before they end up getting taken from you. Okay. Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Tell me the last thing they sent. Noel, Starboard, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Hold on, Vladimir, we're coming for you. Sarah, she's, she's still breathing. But, oh God, all that blood. Hello, Constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. Thomas says, or stopping and raising affinity of another character so they could die instead of one of the characters you actually care about. Oh. I see. So that this moment doesn't hurt as much as it could. Thankfully, I don't really care about any of them. So, I'm good. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us. <laughs> That starborn pastor is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it! Vladimir's right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. I'm not leaving anyone. I'm going to the eye to rescue our friends. Look, I get it. But our best chance is staying here. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Oh man, that's rough. The last thing Barrett says to us before he dies is that he gets us wanting to go save our friends, but that we need to stay here. And then we go to the, uh, to the eye, we save our friends, but then Barrett dies. Ah, oh, I mean, I don't really care about either of them, but this is still such a tough choice. Ugh. I really want to know what happens with Barrett's quest. That's the thing. And I really want to know what happens with Sarah's quest. I suppose I could always load a previous save before I got to this point in the plot and just work on the affinity of one companion to see where that quest goes. 
which is what I might have to do. Sarah's really annoying, too. But... I'm gonna go save Sarah. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Take. If you're going to leave, I'll be barricading the door on your way out. Won't be able to let you back in for anything. Goodbye, Barrett. Do you think I'm making the wrong decision? Yes, stay here. Keeping the artifacts out of the Starborn's hands is all that matters now. He thinks I'm making the wrong decision. And I'm gonna do it anyway. Bye, Barrett. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barrett. Clayton says, get rid of Barrett. He hates you for no reason. That's true. There's some weird affinity quirk that caused him to hate me in my last episode. And I don't know if that's been fixed. So maybe I need to get rid of, rid of him for the practicality of the plot. Oh! <laughs> I went too fast there. Bonked right into it. Well, at least we docked. Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. I can't say the same about you, Sarah. No time to waste. Let's get going. Sarah loved that. Dad, Sam! The others are here. We're going to be okay. I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get outdrawn. Don't worry about it, Sam. I'm just glad you're okay. Back at you. I don't think I'm gonna be moving around too much for a bit, but I'll be all right. Sam oh, loved thank that. The stars beyond. So I'm getting loved um, affinity from all of the companions I rescued. He he came out of nowhere. It's okay. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away, but I'll make it. Go on. Vladimir! You're... alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. Let's go. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Sarah loved that. All right, we go to the lodge. Well, this means that I've wasted two live streams trying to increase Barrett's affinity, doing all of these quests that I could have used that time to increase other characters' affinity, but it wouldn't have worked because I'm, I didn't work because I was locked into this quest where affinity couldn't have been raised. That's just annoying. Well, hopefully I didn't damage the eye when I rammed into it. <laughs> or my ship. My ship is at half health. I think I did damage it by r ramming into it.
Hey, snap out of it. We need to keep moving. Hey, come on. Come on. Barrett. Barrett. It's Sarah. It's too late. I'm so sorry, Barrett. Barrett. We're going to keep going. We'll finish this adventure you started. It's okay. Be at peace. He's... Oh, he's gone. I'm gonna kill that hunter, no matter what it takes. We can't change anything now. <gasps> Come on. Sarah is now my active companion. Vasco? I appear to only be seriously damaged instead of critically damaged. Fortunate. Yeah, fortunate. Affirmative. <laughs> and she loved that. Walter. Walter. Hey, buddy. Took you long enough. <laughs> Not a good time for criticism right now. I'll agree to that. <laughs> you need to find Noelle. Make sure the hunter didn't get her. There's a secret door in the basement. Leads right to the well district. That would have been the safest route for her to run. Where's the other guy? Mateo. Where's Mateo? Ah. It went <clears throat> quickly after you left. I'm sorry, Mateo. Let's fix you up. We held him off while Noel escaped through the basement. There's a door that leads to the well district. This quest is racking in the affinity with Sarah. She just loved everything. Talking to each of these companions, we got a lot of love out of her. Well, maybe we'll be able to, to explore her quest later. I'm sad about Barrett. But it is what it is. Let's go. I'm coming, Noel. I'm going to kill that Starborn guy. Well, I'm not, because he's invincible. So I'm just going to slow him down a bit, and hopefully we'll run out of there. A psychic Afro dancer says you can save everyone, but only in New Game Plus. Convenient, ain't it? Yeah, super convenient. Play the game again to save all the companions. Stay back! I'll... Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Let's get you somewhere safe. I still have the artifacts, but where do we take them? Aboard my ship? Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you to run to the eye. You! You're not getting the artifacts. <laughs> yes. Let's see if they can slip from my grasp this time, shall we? Tony says no. People say you can kill the hunter. Really? Really? Well, I'm going to take some chems. They do stack, right? Actually, I don't think they do. How did this one get removed from my slot?
Why don't I have any equipped? You're nothing oh, but a oh, delay. Oh, where are you? Who's that? Who are you? Guys are getting in my way. The hell was that? Uh, 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 did you see now, that? Or you will be neutralized. Why are you attacking me? Oh, it's the freaking security is getting in my way. We're getting killed out here. So you see security started attacking me, which means I accidentally clipped them with my explosive gun. Also, they turned on each other because they accidentally shot at each other. If I can kill them, I'm going to. And I'm gonna stay in this room so that I don't accidentally aggro all of security. Stay back! I'll... Oh, thank God. I do, but where do we... You! You're <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm not doing anything. They always fight. <laughs> One of them is fake. Just more in my way. That one's not taking damage.
Where's the one that takes damage? Is that all? There we go. How did security get down here? I need covering fire! You're in my way! Jersey says Chad is saying you can't kill him now. Evan Johnson says you can't kill him here. He's plot essential. Well, well, guys, guys, make up your mind. Either I can kill him or I can't. But where did he go? I did something. He disappeared. Did I make it so that he didn't kill civilians? Yes! God, he's back! Oh, full health. Yeah, you're right. I can't kill him here. Well, I tried. I need some help here! You see security. Well, that was a waste of ammunition. I mean, I thought. We couldn't kill him. That's what I. That's what we learned last time. But then you guys said we could. Just messing with me now. All right. We're gonna kill so many civilians. The faster we get to the ship, the faster we save civilians. Alright, now we went through all this uh, dialogue earlier. By the way, I'm not usually invested in combat. Impressive. I think you've learned a little something. Oh wait, that's new. He gave me unrestrained vengeance. He gave me a gun and some ammo because I bested him in combat? Okay, so when he disappeared from the well, it was because I defeated him but he can't be killed for plot reasons, and so he appeared later on. I thought I killed you, but you keep coming back. In case you didn't notice, I have a way of getting around unseen. Although I'll admit, retreat isn't a humiliation I've had to endure in some time. You should be proud. There's a greater purpose to all this. Keep collecting the artifacts. We'll meet again. 
Okay, so Chad was ha half right. He couldn't be killed, but he could be defeated. Because we defeated him inside the well in that bottom chamber, he gifted us with uh, a weapon, and he had some new dialogue uh, uh, to, t to share with us. But we couldn't actually kill him. All right, to the eye. it again. Okay. You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The lodge. Barrett didn't make it. So, we slip from the Starborn's grasp, but not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Well, um, we can't find more artifacts without the eye, though, right? Years in the making to modify the station. Take time to fix the damage, but more is the worse if we abandon her and try to start over. The Starborn want the artifacts. We need to move them. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Um. Ooh, I can build an outpost for it, put up defenses. Uh, or we can keep them on my ship. That won't really make the Lodge or the Eye more secure, will it? Clear from the few encounters we've had that the artifacts are all the Starborn prize. They could come after us, though. Try to find out where we put them. Need to take the risk. The Eye, the equipment in the Lodge, not easily moved. Gotta hope whatever is giving the hunter pause applies to the hole. Just need to make another direct hit less the jackpot. Well, we can keep him on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess we'll meet back at the lodge after. You can now build the armily, arm, armillary on your ship or at your outposts. To build the armillary on your ship, go to the new armillary screen inside your ship's cockpit. Okay. To build the armillary at one of your outposts, go to your outpost and enter the build mode. There will be a new quest category that contains the armillary. All right. Well, we've done it. Let's save. And with that, I think I'm done for today. I got a few things here in the house to get sorted before I do my broadcast later tonight for Scotch and Smoke Rings. It's only going to be a few hours, so I'll see you soon. There we go. Um, well, 
a lot happened today, a lot of conflicting information, but it's a brand new game and we're sort of exploring the ins and out of it together and figuring out how this thing works. Turns out you can defeat the hunter, doing so gets you a gun and some unique dialogue, but he can't be killed. So we were kind of all right at the same time. <clears throat> And I'm guessing that chat was correct about the inability to continue to gain affinity with a companion during that particular part of the main quest. Um, I think what happened with Barrett yesterday was likely a glitch. Uh, I was trying to run around and improve my affinity with him, and it somehow did something with his affinity that caused him to have a negative affinity dialogue conversation with me when I should have been gaining affinity with him. So I'm just gonna chalk that up to a bug and um, I, I'm glad we're moving on to the next part of this story. When In my next uh, Starfield live stream, we'll build the armillary, I suppose, on my brand new shiny ship and continue with some of the uh, constellation quests to try and get to the end of this particular plot line. Again, the goal is constellation, Faction quests, city quests, side quests, outpost building, starship building. That's the order in which I'm going to be doing a lot of this, but it'll probably all change uh, as we continue to explore the game. I hope you guys are still having as much fun with the game as I am. I plan to do more lore videos and more live streams for the foreseeable future. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Unless uh, I get a recommendation... For another game, uh, my plan is to do Dead Space 3 tonight for Scotch and Smoke Rings. But if you've got any questions about Starfield or my Fallout series that I had to pause before moving on to this or anything else, come to Scotch and Smoke Rings tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time where we'll have an hour-long Q&A. You've got questions and I'll do my best to have the answers. Thanks again for coming and I'll see you soon with Scotch and Smoke Rings. Bye-bye, all.